Hello, everyone. It's William here at Allegory Gallery and Andrew in the background. Hi. And we're at Star Cottage Studio today. I hope you're all doing well. It was a pretty kind of warm winter day. Warm. It was 40 some degrees, so that's pretty warm for now, for lately. Um, we've been down in the 20s and 30s, so. Last night was super cold. Yeah, I went down to 11 degrees, I think, last night. These are all Fahrenheit numbers. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy day. We, um, are going to look at some kits today. Um, we also have some last chance items from Andrew's collection and his makings before they go into the vault and get sealed away for who knows how long, maybe forever. Some things never seem to come back out. And then we are going to talk about some projects we do and some things we have coming up and and some things that we've done that maybe you missed out on and want to catch on next time. So how's that? So how's everyone doing out there? Um, right now, only looks like three of you watching. So if you're out there, please say hello. We need all the comments and all the love we can get. Hit that love, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. If you're out there on YouTube, we hope you'll subscribe to us. Hello, Suzanne. Thank you for joining us today. Please share this video, everybody. It helps a lot. If you like the things that we do, um, the only way, you know, that um, we don't spend a lot of money on ads and things like that. We rely on um, word of mouth. So we hope that you will please hit that share. Um, I see an angry face out there. I don't know if somebody misclicked or if you're really angry about something. If you do have an issue with anything um, ever from us, please send us an email, info at allegorygallery.com and we can help you sort that out. Um, but uh, yeah, so Norma is with us. Hello, Norma. Hello, Marianne. Thank you for joining in. There, the numbers are starting to go up a little bit. Probably y'all sharing. Hit that share button, please. Um, we are streaming today to the Allegory Gallery Facebook page, to the Great Beat Extravaganza group. Um, if you are a member of the Great Beat Extravaganza group, Andrew here at Allegory Gallery, along with Sarah of Softlex, are the starters of that entire group. So that entire group started because they started, um, you know, brainstorming about what we can do over the pandemic to create something wonderful in the bead world. And so if you are a member of the Great Bead Extravaganza and you like that, please also like our page, at Allegory Gallery. You never know what we're going to get up to next and with who. And... Um, we are also streaming to our YouTube channel. So if you're on YouTube, um, you can go over to youtube.com slash allegory gallery and you can subscri subscribe to us there if you're not already. So what's going on, everybody? What's happening? What's going on? Let me know. There's not many people out here watching today. I don't know if we have to find another time slot. After the time change, all of our numbers are like going down. So I hope- I think that's just normal. Which is normal anyway. Maybe we'll have to go on less. Go on less? You want to see less of us maybe? Maybe we're just inundating you too much. Um, people are tired of it. Tired of us going live every day. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that is. Um, I was talking to Cynthia about this and um, we were talking about how her lives have been getting pretty good numbers, but her sales on her lives have dropped significantly. Mm. And she was saying how she didn't know if she could keep going. And um, I was like, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to get at least like 30, 35 people on each live. Now we're at six, everybody. I'm thankful for all of you who are here. Our you know, our steadfast AG, followers, AG, AG Bead fam out there. Um, Norma says, I've been cleaning out my closet today. So exciting. It needs to be done sometimes though, right? We need to do it. Yeah, we do. It feels good when you do stuff like that and clear things out. So we don't know. So right now I'm looking at eight followers and a very upset, angry face. That's what I see on my side. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell on here. You'd have to go in and look on Facebook. Um, but it is from Facebook. So that's all I see. That's a little bit depressing. So maybe we do need to do fewer of these. I don't know. Maybe people say, oh, I'll just catch the next one. So they just don't watch us. I know some people watch on replay, but 
Yeah, we get a lot more in replay. And, but maybe right now, I don't know. Maybe the time change has people whacked out. Maybe, um, I don't know, Cynthia goes once a week and she gets pretty good numbers. Maybe we just need to move to something like that. Um, Suzanne's has been busy with classes and meetings. It's good to stay busy, I guess, right? Um, sounds like hopefully good meetings, good things. Susan is here, our neighbor. Thank you for joining in. Um, Suzanne says, maybe the holidays. I wish I could blame the holidays, but the store, the physical store has been dead. So people aren't out doing shopping for the holidays, apparently. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm about ready to uh, no more. No more. No more everything. Andrew's ready to close up, <laughs> shut uh, down. Well, maybe the physical store. Yeah, because um, it's really not. Because our numbers have been dropping significantly. Yeah, we've had a lot of zero days in the physical store. And um, maybe just have it uh, be at the in Johnstown. Yeah, do stuff there. Where the overhead is less. Maybe might have to. So yeah, it's rough out there, y'all. It's rough out there. Um, and we're hearing this not, this isn't just us, by the way, we're hearing this from a lot of other small businesses um, that their holiday seasons are down right now or um, people just aren't out like they used to be. They're not online like they used to be. Um, we got used to everyone online with the pandemic and now people are, are going out and about more, um, but we're not really seeing it. So um, town in general, Ligonier today was, I was down at the shop for a few hours, was dead. Um, there were not a lot of people walking around. Um, I know it is a Monday. It is a Monday. And Mondays are a lot of times they're closed. Um, a lot of stores in town are closed. Especially with the weather. Mm -hmm. But the weather was pretty nice today. It was sunny. It was 40 degrees, 45 degrees. I know, but sometimes when it's winter time, yeah. people will, will take Mondays off more liberally than yeah. in the busier times. So hello, Diane. Diane is here with us. Um, Norma says, it's sometimes hard to keep up with the live every day. Oh, of course it is. We get it. So that's why maybe we'll cut them back um, and just do fewer of them. I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're thinking. We're thinking. We're just kind of pondering with you because these are the things that we've been thinking about. Um, and right now we have eight people watching only. So we, we're thankful for you eight. We really appreciate it. Um, but as far as um, a sustainable thing, these seem to be... Um, I don't want to say they're hitting their max, but maybe they have, and we might have to readjust. Um, it's always something's changing. It is. Like Algorithms when, change, which when, doesn't make it easy. That's why we ask you to share, because we're definitely, like, we threw up a bunch of posts last week on our Facebook page um, and shared them all over ourselves, and we're still only getting, like, two views, two likes, um, three likes on them. So there's something in the algorithm also um, that's why, again, we ask you to share things far and wide because the more people that share, um, you know, all those algorithms care about is how many people are reacting and sharing and commenting. Um, and if they see that more, then they start helping. Um, but otherwise, you're on your own in a lot of ways. So, yeah, how are y'all? Um, let's see. Suzanne's been busy with classes and meetings. Norma's been cleaning closets. What else has everybody been doing today? Um, oh, Susan, we tried to, um, deliver some stuff to your house, but you weren't home at one point, I guess. So we brought it back down to the store. So if you see your items, they were marked as delivered because we thought we'd be able to get them to you. Um, but we couldn't. So, um, if you see your items marked as delivered, it was a while ago, but I forgot to tell you, um, but I'll have to bring them back and try and get them to you. Just put it on our door. I don't like leaving things in the door all the time, well, but, um, Barb tried to drop them off to you. Wanted to say hi, but you weren't home. You know Barb. Yeah, you know Barb. Is it you that babysat them or her that babysat? Somehow, because mm -hmm. they, they grew up. Next to each other, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pam Lacaldi says, my beating life has changed since I moved, but try to catch you when I can. Don't go away. Well, we're trying it not to. We're trying to be here. Um... Let's see, Susan says, lots of small businesses I know are making big changes, reducing days and times open or going entirely online. I know, a lot of people are. Um, 
we're seeing it a lot. There have been stores in town that have closed and they've gone online only. A lot of our bead store friends, a lot of them um, who still had physical stores are shutting them down and going online only. Um, and I don't know. We still, we hate to do it, but it's getting to that point. Um, well, the, to, to be perfectly honest, the physical store costs a lot of money to maintain. Mm -hmm. And we have a space in Johnstown that we're not using. And the overhead is 200 <laughs> compared to 1200. So, yeah. yeah. So we maybe. would save a lot of money every month if we just moved the store there, and did things there. Um, I'm thinking of moving to Johnstown also. Andrew wants to move completely to Johnstown. I don't look forward to a house move again. But we'll see. Will Airbnb our Ligonier house? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's see. Susan says, I have physical therapy tomorrow. I will stop in the store. Yes, Barb and Tom were my neighbors. Barb and I are close to the same age. Yeah. Hello, Susan is with us. Hello. Your Cynthia jumped in. I was waiting for your live, but didn't show up in my notifications. Annoying. Well, That's there's a problem. Um, you know, I have Cynthia's noticed birthday. it is Cynthia's birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Cynthia. Um, she said she was doing errands a lot today. So that what was... do you want for your birthday, Cynthia? Um, or are you going to do like Max and not say? <laughs> not say. Um, moving is not fun, says Pamela. No, moving no. is not fun. Not at all. It took us like two months to move last time. And we were just moving from a small place. <laughs> Um, I can't imagine moving a store and a house. Oh, probably easier now, though, because we moved a lot of stuff here. <laughs> he says that. <laughs> like, we haven't acquired stuff since then. <laughs> um, Suzanne says, happy birthday, Cynthia. Marion says, decisions are the hardest thing, right? It is. Especially when you're talking about something that you've been doing for almost 12 years, 11 solid years. Um, and then thinking about moving it or closing it. I don't know. Changing it up. Changing it up. Susan says, happy birthday, Cynthia Thornton. Um, yeah. So what else is happening? Just Got together on Friday. Hmm? Got together on Friday for make along. Yes. I was going to do that at the end, but I can do it now. We got together on Friday, if you missed it, um, the creative make along that we did on Zoom. Um, and we hung out and we made stuff together. So if you joined us there, thank you so much. Um, it's kind of a low key um, chat session. We get to chat with you all and see your faces. It's always great to see your faces because sometimes we don't see your faces at all. We don't even know what you look like. Um, so it's really great to put faces with names and voices with faces and names. Um, so we had a lot of fun. Um, Andrew had a migraine, but he tuned in toward the end. So that was nice. He was able to join in. Um, Cindy says, I'm finishing my walk. I'm hoping to get chocolate cake and ice cream. <laughs> you can't get that from me. <laughs> and, uh, it's not moldy cake. Moldy cake. Ooh, no moldy cakes. Um, Pamela says, at least you don't have 50 years of accumulation. Not yet. Uh... Not yet. You're, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Andrew likes to acquire. I like to acquire, too. Um, we're all, how do you call it? hoarder. <laughs> not quite hoarders. Um, also, we have we're a not... store. Yeah. So that's that amps up your acquisition by a hundredfold. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff all around in various states of uh, being. Um, we had an empty garage at one point. It's not it's empty not anymore. It's not bad. completely full. I tried to clean it out. He did a good job. Um, but it got filled back up instantly. I know. It doesn't take long. Once you move a, make a spot, something invades. Uh, Marianne says, have the best birthday ever, Cynthia. Teresa is joining in. Susan says, happy birthday, Cynthia. Mine is on Friday. Well, happy birthday, Susan. Hopefully we'll see you before that. But if not, happy birthday. Um... Susan says, sometimes I wonder about moving, but actually moving thousands of books and beads? No. I know. Yeah, we need to purge our books. We do. Too. We do. 
Because we have a lot of stuff that we're never going to read again. No. Um, Suzanne says, that, that was so much fun. Thanks for hosting. I don't know if I said that already. That's the creative make-along on Zoom. Um, Susan says, I'm recovering from another bug, so I stayed offline. Probably smart, right? Too much to make you angry and make you weaker while you're recovering. Um, Bonnie is with us. Hello, William and Andrew. Looks like Cynthia Thornton's birthday. It is. It is. And Susan's birthday on Friday. So the creative make-along is one of those things that we've just started doing. Um, officially. Officially. Because we used to hang out with people and make stuff on our own. Yeah. But we didn't do it on Zoom. I did. You did? Yeah. Andrew did, apparently. I hung out with people a mix stuff mm. during the pandemic. I don't remember. Because you're probably asleep. So we do the creative make-along on Zoom anyway, officially now. Um, someone asked if we're going to do it in December, and we will probably make a date for December. Um, this one was uh, tailored around the Winter Garden kit. If you got the Winter Garden kit, the reveal date for your projects was Friday. Don't worry if you didn't reveal your projects. You can reveal them anytime after that date. We just ask you not to reveal them before that date. Um, so you can put those in the album in the Allegory Gallery Design Challenge group. Let me put up a, the, 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 there it is, the banner for that. Facebook.com slash groups slash Allegory Gallery Design Challenges. And inside that group is an album in the photo section or the media section, whatever they do on your Facebook version. And you can throw your creative projects in that group. We know people got the kids because we sold out. So we can't wait to see your projects that you're making. But we did a creative Zoom make along. If you had the kit, you could make along with that kit. And the date of that make along was in the, um, in the description for that kit. Um, cause a lot of people were saying, I didn't know you were having one or when are you doing another one? Or we didn't have enough notice for this one. The notice for this one was actually in the description for that kit. And when we talked about that kit, when we debuted it in the live. So like two months notice. Yeah. So there was like a month or two months notice for that. We did, we were going to cancel the live potentially because we were going to be in New York. Yeah. But we didn't go. We didn't go. So we were going to do the live. We we're still talking about doing it from New York, but at night or a different time. But we did, we any, anyway, we didn't go and we had the creative make along. So we're going to probably plan one for mid December so that no one's too much into the holiday season yet. Um, and maybe it'll be a nice break for anyone who is holiday crazed to sit down with friends and do a creative make along. So I think that might be fun. Um, Susan says, I like to call my hoard carefully curated goods. Correct. <laughs> That's right. They are very carefully I curated. I have a collection. Right? <laughs> Andrew has multiple collections. Correct. I'm thinking of downsizing though. Oh, really? Yeah. He's going to downsize y'all. I've been thinking about it. Anyone want to buy some books? <laughs> we got books. We got lots of books. Um, and we'll see what Andrew downsizes. Who knows? Kathleen says, I moved three years ago and still don't have my beads straightened out. That's the problem with moving, right? Things get put in boxes and then sometimes they stay there for a long time. I know, but for us, we're, our beads, it's taken, how long have we been here? Over a year. Oh, it where? Here. Oh, in Star Cottage? Yes. Last April, I think. April, March, April, May. April to May. End of April? I think it was the right? end of April. Somewhere in there. So how many is that now? A year May, and a June, July, August, November, October, November. Seven months. Yeah, over a year and a half. About a year and a half. And we're still unpacking. We're still unpacking. We're still unpacking. No, we're making progress. We are. It's good progress. You got a lot out. And also, like, you can only take so much out sometimes because you need room to do stuff. Yeah, we're actively still working. Yeah. So that's the other It's thing. not like we got to take, like, six months off and unpack and, and leisurely. Actually, it's probably been the busiest year <laughs> for me. Yeah. Because I was in Pittsburgh for... Between last year and this year, with your classes last year, and your teaching and stuff and artists and residents and touchstone and we had renovations last year it's not like we were moving ready no we had a lot of renov renovations to the cottage so we couldn't move stuff in 
cleaning, 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 cleaning. <laughs> Andrew's been cleaning again. You would not believe how, like, in my mind, if you clean at one time, it should be clean forever. <laughs> Wouldn't but, that be nice? But it actually, the, it's never-ending never cleaning. Ending. I know. Um, we did enameling last night. We did do enameling last night. We're going to talk about that, too. Um, we're getting ready for, well, I'm going to show you these things. No, I'll just tell you about that, too. So anyway, mid-December, probably for a creative Zoom make alone. So um, usually we do them on Fridays. If you all don't think Fridays is good, let us know. Um, we just think it's a nice Friday night hangout before you get into the weekend. Um, so we're going to pick a Friday in December, mid-December, and we'll probably do one. We'll make an announcement in the Allegory Gallery Design Challenges group. Um, and then last night, we spent a long time enameling and preparing things to be enameled. Um, which takes as long as that. Which enameling. takes actually longer than the enameling. Like, my part's <laughs> the part that's the quickest, actually. <laughs> Like the decorating part. I hope that's quick. I don't know what it takes you to do that. I'm quick with that part. This this graffito technique. Um, but with the other part, that's the stuff it that took takes the long hours. Hours, and we didn't have to cut out metal because we had metal blanks. Thank goodness. We um, might have to cut some out for like earrings because that one metal is kind of heavy. I think they'll be okay. Twenty four. I was years. feeling probably better i was feeling them i think they're fine we'll see if we but anyway we spent hours because and i did step-by-step -step photos kind of so i'm going to share those too with y'all so you can kind of see what we were doing i was trying to take photos along the process so that i could show you all um but we take the metal blanks and then the metal blanks have to um you put a little in them so you can tell where you're going to put the hole you do a center punch. Andrew tells me it's called center punching. Um, so you do that to all of them that you want, and you got to line up the holes so the holes are right. And then you take a drill and you drill down through them. And then you sand them down because the, every time you drill them, you get little burrs in the holes. So you have to sand down just the little burr on the hole, which is a little precise eyeballing. Um, and then we take them and anneal them so they have to be annealed under flame and then they are pickled to get rid of some of the oxidation. the oxidation and your oils from your skin and then they're taken out of the pickle and they're washed with uh, soap and water to take the final bits of oils off we had to take them home to do that yeah we, we had we had dinner time so dinner time we were feeding the cats eating dinner cooking dinner and or cooked dinner and then we were cleaning those. We need to do that again. What? Dinner. Cook dinner. <laughs> and then we had to bring them back here, dry them off. And then once they were dry, they're ready for the counter enamel, which is the enamel that goes on the back. Um, I was learning this, that because when you enamel things, they tend to like to bend sometimes if the metal's thinner, because um, the glass fuses and then it can contract. And so it can bend the metal. So you put a, a counter. It's called the coefficient of expansion. Coefficient of expansion. I don't know what the coefficient is. Coefficient is usually a number. 96. 96. Andrew knows. Coefficient of expansion, 96. So um, that's what happens. So you put counter enamel on the back so that when you're working on the front, you don't start bending it toward any one side. So we put the counter enamel on. And then once you put it in the kiln to put the counter enamel on, it gets, what's it called? The black stuff. Fire scale. Fire scale. So the fire scale then has to be sanded off. So it's another sanding process. Um, a lot of work. And then you can finally get to working on the actual front. And we started adding some color to the front. Um, and then Andrew's going to start working on his portion of whatever the front is then. So we did that last night on a bunch of pieces to get them ready for the Handmade Arcade in Pittsburgh. We're going to do a bunch more tonight. We're going to be doing a bunch Maybe. more tonight. Maybe, definitely. We have to keep going. So we have a bunch more tonight to do, um, at least finishing up the ones that we started last night. I and also started working on another uh, showpiece. He's working on another showpiece. Um, 
that he has is it for a particular show maybe maybe can't talk about it i guess um so he's working on a piece um that he started on and it's not a happy piece so. it's not a happy piece it had some issues so he's trying to fix it no um, just the theme is not happy oh either. the theme is not happy either so if you all want to cry with me you can look at can it cry because it's going to be sad um meaningful but sad so that's what we did last night so we've been busy um let's see let me catch up with some comments here susan says i like that handle carefully curated books right it sounds oh, good for your instagram instagram handle um marion says dragon horde in my case yeah i'm not afraid of dragon horde <laughs> I got piles of sparklies that I may or may not lay on sometimes. Right. Bonnie says, I still have my grown children's baby stuff. I think it's hard for parents to part with stuff, right? My mom, I don't think my mom had a lot. I don't know what she still has, but there was always this gigantic, like, I think it was a handmade kind of like envelope that was really big. And our like school papers and some things from elementary and artwork we would do got put in that and it was always stored on the side of her dresser where her makeup was and it was always there and i don't know if she still has any of that stuff from the move to her new house or not but um uh, i would suppose she does too i would suppose she does too um hello june thanks for tuning in susanna is here once you move you are always unpacking Hello, Susanna. Thank you for joining in. I don't think it ever ends. It's it like does cleaning. not end. It ends for my aunt. My aunt, when she moves, she said if something stays in a box for longer than about five years, she just chucks the whole box. Because, I would never do that. Because obviously she didn't need it in that five years, so the whole box goes. <laughs> That's her way of getting rid of things. No. Um, so, But she is also one. She does not... Um, she Keep. throws out spices that she doesn't use. Like, yeah. I was like, I need a bar soap because we used to live next door. And I was like, I, do you have cream of tartar? And she's like, that seemed like something I threw out. <laughs> yeah. My aunt is not, she is not a hoarder. She is not one to keep anything that is not useful now, generally. Like, she has some sentimental things from my grandparents, her parents, and um, probably her grandparents. But, um, if it's not like needed right now, it goes in the trash, it's done. Which I kind of admire in some ways because her house is always tidy because there's like nothing. She has some artwork on the walls and she has some sculptures and things like that for art, but she is definitely not a maximalist. Um, she's not quite a minimalist, but um, yeah, she doesn't hold on to things. Um, and she says, if I need it again, I'll get it again. Um, but she's worked hard in her life so she can afford to do that, which is um, good. Me, I'm like, I might use that jar. I know. And we do she, use them. We do, but she would never. If she has a she just throw the jar or recycle the jar. But she's big on recycling. But um, I would be too, but it's harder here. Yeah. And they have this thing supposedly that they take stuff out. It's called Project Stream. <laughs> which i think they mean they dump it in the stream but uh oh let's no. hope not supposedly they pick it out of the trash but i don't know if that's a in real the trash thing stream or if it's like a fake thing i don't know why who knows but hello I, harry we still have bags of recycling that we drive around with they go basically they transfer between inside the car and inside the garage because our recycling here is not like New York. New York, you just had a blue bag and you put it in there and they picked it up. Yeah, that was nice. Here, you have to wait until the thing is empty. But what do they actually say, though, too? Like 80% of the stuff we put in recycling doesn't ever get recycled anyway? I just recycle it myself. We Andrew does. He keeps, we have we have basement shelves lined with jars in case we need a jar. Correct. We have, only good jars. He says only good jars. Interesting jars and good jars. Correct. None of this like <laughs> junky jar. No, no if There's something jars. like, like if there's like something like super crusted on, I'm not keeping it. No, he's not going to scrub it down to keep it. Um, hello, Harry. Suzanne says, cinnamon is on my lap hitting the computer keys. Where is Barnaby? She types. 
heart, not, heart, heart. Not here. Barnaby didn't come today to the cottage. Um, he just has lung issues. So yeah, we don't want to take him add extra stress right now. He does sometimes come to the cottage, very rarely, but we didn't want to take him out with, with any issues. So sorry, Cinnamon, you don't get to see Barnaby today. Is that your boyfriend? It's going to be your... <laughs> going to be, right? I don't know. Yeah, Barnaby can be a cinnamon can be boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't know. We don't know the gender of the cats, right? Barnaby, Barnaby says he's fluid, so who knows? Be flirting with all the cats <laughs> in the neighborhood. I said, get out the window. Flirting and chasing. Mm -hmm. Diane says, I don't think I have the patience for enamel. Well, here's the thing. It's fun. It's fun. And once you do all that work, the enameling is like dusting some enamel dust on putting it in the kiln for two minutes everybody it takes two minutes in the kiln and you pull it out and you have something which depending on how many layers and what you're doing it may take a while but like if you do uh cloisonase sometimes it's that's it weeks yeah that's crazy but yeah. just plain enameling just to get into it this is one of the reasons i think i can do it because it can be fast once you get all that work done um it just takes two minutes in the kiln and your project is like the first layer at least is done. If you only have one layer, you're done. We're talking about doing this YouTube channel. Yes. Called most boring YouTube <laughs> channel on earth. Okay. So <coughs> we were in the studio last night and, and got, he made me watch it for like two seconds, everybody. Cause I had to show him what I was talking I about. Said, he kept saying, this. I don't know why people would do that. So I said, people do. I said, they don't got other stuff to do. Okay. So there's some of these YouTube channels. And what they do is they're like, study with me. And they set up a three hour study block where they're actually studying. Like they are, they have their paper spread out, but like they put the, the video behind them, the camera behind them. You don't see their head. You only see their hands and you can't make out what they're studying, but there's like a big window in front. And okay, let me tell you this one, it's been out for one year only. This video has been out for one year it had 1 million views. That's not the big one. The one it was 11 million. No, it was, that was 11 or 110,000. But there was, or was it 11 million? It was 11, it was 11 million, million people 11 million. It. it was out for one year. It was 11 million views. And I'm like, and people are like in the comments, like you guys all talk to us and, and, and chat. They're like, yeah, what's everyone studying today? It's like this beautiful community of people who just study together so we were thinking what if while but we're you doing know what? that per person doesn't interact with nope. them at all there's no interaction at all they just study and it's just you know like I guess it's like having white noise well it's like if you're or when you're in a library you're with other people studying and you have that knowledge that you're with other people and sometimes it's easier to study or do things when you're doing it with other people even if you don't interact so that's what it is we're thinking about setting up a studio or a camera in the studio going live and saying craft with us or whatever and we can all there's no interaction really but you can watch us do what we do and if you're working on things you can sit along with us you'll hear the sounds of our machines and what we're doing and and walking around and whatever but it'll just be a way to hang out hang out without actually you know having to talk or do anything like that well, I already do it, so... Yeah, we already are in the studio. Andrew's in the studio all the time. Now that I'm helping with enameling and stuff, I'll be there. And I'm like, why don't we just set up a camera and see if people will just hang out with us on YouTube. Um, they might have to edit it, though. <laughs> Andrew gets Andrew gets into some subjects sometimes. Sassy. Sassy. We both get sassy sometimes. We are, I'm not like, just Andrew. Why didn't you do that? <laughs> and then people are like, oh, oh, what is he really I like? Thought he's nice. <laughs> So we're thinking Call about the abuse line. We're thinking about doing something like that. I don't know if y'all would like that. I'm gonna scroll through the comments. Let us know um, if you would like something like that because the boringest channel ever. it's the boringest channel ever. But if well, you're yay, working in your yay. studio and you're working on things in your bead room or your your dining room table, wherever you work, and you're by yourself. Wouldn't it just be cool just to be hanging out with somebody, even if you're not interacting, like just to have know that someone is working with you at the same time? Because I used to do that too. Like I'd go to the library in college or we go to, you know, the, the hub and you'd be doing things and it's just nice to feel like other people are doing that too. So I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe you all I like did, it. Yeah. I took the books home. Andrew took everything home and worked from home. I did a lot of stuff from home, but I also did stuff. I like the hub. I like to sit in the hub and just work on stuff. Like there were some books that you, they wouldn't let you take out of the library. And I hated it. <laughs> yeah, see, I always, that's one of the reasons when I'm working, like it drives Andrew crazy, but I like the TV on, even though if he, even if he's there, cause it's like, it's the noise and it's the presence of other people. Sometimes I'll have the, the TV on and then I'm like, I should turn on some music. <laughs> Cause he likes music when he works and I like TV cause I like a background people happening. So I don't know. We're thinking about doing it. It's not going to cost us anything to do it, to try it. And we um, already got all the setup. So. Yeah, we got the setup. We just have to put up a camera and stream it and we just have to watch our mouths and, um, um, not we'll have to put in headphones for music because you can't have music playing but and then you all can see me nod off at the bed <laughs> this is working in the middle of the night amanda says hi everyone i'm gonna go through some comments now here um diane says i feel like it's hard to be a minimalist if you're a maker definitely definitely um let me see here i don't i'm not i think it'd be nice to be a minimalist if we had a separate house and it was like for show only. For show, when you invite guests over, here's our house. Welcome. I know. You have to hermetically unseal it. Because yeah. like, I would pile it up. You hear even. the vacuum seal open when you break the seal of the house, unlock the door. Our the, the, <laughs> let, let's just be honest. The cottage is not hermetically sealed. <laughs> no. I can not. look over and see the wind blowing through <laughs> the cracks in the walls. Yeah. So if we had another house someday that we can seal up and just invite guests to, we would never have to clean the house again. That's what we say in our I mind. know, right? That's what it feels like. I feel like we have to do more cleaning. <laughs> no, we can actually have somebody clean that house because if we're able to afford two houses, that must mean we're making okay money. We can Cleaners afford to clean They're not expensive here. They're not expensive, but we wouldn't have anything in that house that we had to worry about. So... Like now we're like, I don't know where we tell them. How can we tell them to put stuff somewhere? You know, like how does someone clean your house and put stuff somewhere? Mm -hmm. Like, but when the house is like perfect and ready for guests all the time. Like a hotel. Like a hotel. There's always a room for some. There's always a place for everything. Our so, house now is not like that. No, no. Um, Susan says, I think my maximal maximalism is in my genes. My poor hubs, the minimalist, married the maximalist me. <laughs> oh boy. Suzanne says, cinnamon is female. Declared, right? Oh, well, there you go. Um, Susan says, is the studying video meditative? Um, I guess. It can be. People find it relaxing and calming, like that um, ASMR stuff. Like, you hear pages turning or typing on the keyboard. We watched one of those, too. I said, what? I can make my own sounds. Right. I don't need this. So this would be like sounds of the studio. We'll call it sounds of the studio. I guess I'm like one of those curmudgeons, you know, <laughs> like one of those old people. Get off my lawn. Well, you like, like you like radio or you like audiobooks. Like, uh, you don't care if there are other people around working, doing things. Like, like stuff like, like this those, for like, me. Them rattling packages. I was like, that stuff I don't. That drives me crazy. Yeah, that stuff I don't get. But some people really like it, and it calms people down. I know. Um, I should I'm not gatekeeping you all. No. If you like to do it, do Whatever it. Whatever works. It doesn't work for us, but it might work for you. Um, but the, you the, I know. The studying, the though, the studying definitely, like, people around, that's definitely me. I Green do. Girl. I do like to look in people's studios. Yes, so um, it'll be a chance to see the studio. Um, Cindy says craft party. Um, Susan says that would be fun on Zoom. Unfortunately, Susan, we can't make ad money on Zoom. So if we're going to stream for three hours, we hope we get something. <laughs> Even if you watch an ad here and there. No, nah, no Zoom because then you're going to be talking. Yeah, there's no interaction on it. You can tune in and watch us. Um, there will be a live chat. They still do the live chat. For that one, I found the place where you have to be a subscriber to do the live chat. So I think we would do that. Um, so we don't get a bunch of porn um, links on there. Because um, nobody's moderating. Nobody would be moderating it. Um, maybe we don't care. You just, nobody moderates and you just, you know, if don't there's porn, don't porn. click on the porn. Um, it's not like I'm really like, hey, If people are trash out. talking, they'll 
putter outs when they realize no one is replying at all ever. Um, so who knows? Who knows? Marianne says, I like to listen to storms on YouTube. Yeah, there's this like the storm cassettes cassettes that's from back the in the 90s, day right when you try to go to bed but i did have them i got them from um what was that nature store in the mall um we had it at walden books walden had them and, and borders and here there was a nature store and you go in and you could buy them and they were in cassettes and i would listen to them before bed mine was like something dan gibson i think was his name Dan Gibson had a whole Solitudes, I think was the series. I think you can still see them on um, like Apple Music because I found Somebody them one day. recorded it from there. So, <laughs> right, to put it on Apple Music. Um, but they I used to, they would be this like relaxing rainforest and they would be like, shh, caca, caca, caca. <laughs> no, there was always something like, and I did the one. And you'd be like almost asleep and then you'd be jump away. Jump away or that thunder crash, like, shh. And now you'd be like, shh. And then I did the one on the lake, and it was nice, calm rain on the lake. And then all of a sudden, this loud bullfrog would do, come uh, on. It was, like, it was like, okay, I'm back like, away. This is not as calm as you think. <laughs> but I did like them, and I actually did find them recently on Apple Music. And I think I found the one I used to have. When we moved to the country, opened the window, and it was like that. Yeah, it was. You just it was opened the window. It was startling. Because you'd be here, the crickets. Crickets and the owls. Uh-huh. And when we lived in the city, you got used to, like, the noise. So much noise. Like, there'd be people having full-on conversations right six inches from your head. Right. It's true. And... <coughs> Diane says, I would probably turn on while I was working on stuff for the virtual company. <clears throat> yeah. Just hang out with us. Suzanne says, I'd try it out. June says, worth a try. Um... Susan says, I like to have music on while I'm working. Yeah, see, that's the thing. We couldn't have music in the background because of, um, you know, the copyright stuff. But I still think it could be fun. 11 million friends. 11 million friends watching us, right? That'd be wild. That'd be some income on the side if 11 million people watched ads. Think of how much they made. Holy moly. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Eleven million ad views. Um, Amanda says, "Give it a go." Harry says, "Worth a watch." Bonnie says, "I'm not really interested in watching people work. I would feel guilty that I'm not working too." See, that's the point. You you get to work too. You do your own work, and everybody works together. Um, Diane says, "I have to have something on in the background to fall asleep, and we always have the TV on to keep the dogs from barking at every little noise." Um, Every little noise, there is always background noise here. Oh, so, SP. I was like, what does SP stand for? So there is always background noise here. When I was a kid, I could not sleep unless I fell asleep with the TV on. And then I'd wake up to the, the, test, the test sign with the loud test buzz or noise. I used to listen, when I was a kid, we, um, so this is an embarrassing story. <laughs> So one day my parents pulled me aside and they said that they needed to talk to me. And I said, about what? And they said, you're not allowed to listen to the radio anymore. And I said, why not? <laughs> and they said, because of what you're listening to. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And so I guess I would have the radio on and they'd be like talking about like art, art, arts and culture. And by the end of it, and there was this program called Stargazer, and they would talk about like the planetary movements, and it came on at the, so late at night. <laughs> and usually I fell asleep by the time it came on. But after Stargazer was this thing called Passion Phone, <laughs> where people would call in about their sexual fantasies and oh my issues. <laughs> I believe the host's name was Aaron Summers, and uh, Aaron Summers would give them advice about this, that, and the other thing. And so I think my parents thought that I was listening Staying to... Staying up to all hours so you could listen to Passions? Uh-huh. I could... Passion Phone. Passion Phone. I could listen to um, their problems with their three-way and <laughs> why they're 
partner wouldn't get into poop or whatever. <laughs> and oh my goodness, I was like, I don't even know, but you know what? Maybe it soaked into my skull. Like, osmosis. you remember the 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 host name? I looked it up because I I had to like fact check myself. <laughs> like, did this happen? Did this happen, or was this like a dream? Isn't that as you get older, you start wondering if things happened or if you just dreamed them? No, that starts to blur. People are like, oh, did the moonwalk happen? Yes. <laughs> yes. Did the Holocaust happen? Yes. yes. Did slavery happen? Yes. Pam says, gotta run, catch you another time. Sorry we didn't get to any showing you of his stuff, Pam, yet, but it's fun to chat. Um, Susan says, my dad's parents were antique dealers, some of their stuff was museum grade. It was gone before I came on the scene. I think that's where the maximal stuff comes from. Uh, Marion says, Solitudes is on YouTube. Solitudes by Dan Gibson on YouTube. Nice. Is he still alive? I don't know. I don't know. Harry says, I often have the Alexa app from Amazon play music for me for 20 minutes as I go to sleep. I sometimes do the sleep timer thing. I hate that, by the way. Andrew hates it when he's actually at, in bed at the same time as me. Because when it's time for me to sleep, it's time for me to sleep. And some of them people is ridiculous. They talk in. Yeah, they do. They get wild. I try a lot of different um, meditation things and um, different sleep apps. Um, mm -hmm. So some but of them are works better than you, the other. It does good. help me. But when they're talking, I'm like, I'm trying to sleep. Don't you be telling me about the alien force and the, the cosmos talking this, that. Um, Susan somebody. says, it sounds like I could do a YouTube channel about see what cat socks I'm wearing today and someone would watch it. Probably. Probably. If you did that every morning and you said, okay, everyone, good morning. Let's see what cat socks I'm going to wear today. I bet there would be people who there would watch it. There's things called foot fetish. Oh my goodness, let's not get into foot fetish. Not saying anything. If you have one, it's okay. We just don't need to talk about it on our live for beads today. <laughs> it's like our, on our live for beads that we haven't talked about. I know. One time. I know, right? Um, Bonnie says it's like a Seinfeld show about nothing, right? It's literally just this one would just be us in the studio working. Just work along with I us. I think looking in somebody's studio is kind of interesting. I, I don't think, think it is I too. could do it for hours. Yeah, and I doubt people watch for hours. Maybe they do. If they're studying along, why not? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Susan says, we either listen to classical or chill out music while going to sleep. I put on this Mushroom Kingdom when um, Cynthia and Azalea were coming over just so there was something on in the background and it was like pretty pictures of mushrooms and like classical music. And I was so busy cleaning, I didn't realize that it had switched. And then, so this video on how to grow psychedelic mushrooms <laughs> came up. <laughs> and I was like, what, what, what's that voice in the background talking about? They found something about our- Soil culture. Something about our viewer history that they flipped into that. What? the fungi movie that probably the documentary um, Susan says being in an urban area we get a wide variety of nighttime sounds some pleasant others like gunshots not so much right Marion says I would watch cat socks there you go your first subscriber right Bonnie says what if you have a bad case of gas or you have to pick your nose go in the other room hopefully right it's natural or just let it loose and who knows what kind of subscribers you'll get then so <laughs> You Isn't never, fart fetish? You, oh my goodness, you never know, right? You Probably. never know. Okay, we're up to 19 there people is, watching. Though, there is this woman who got paid to fart in a bag. It's true. And she got so, uh, she got intestinal problems because she was eating so much stuff to make her gassy. She would make little gas bags and send them out all over the world. And she was making $11,000 a month <laughs> on farting in a bag. I was like, oh, what am I doing wrong? Not gassy enough. Not containing that gas enough. No. <laughs> Bonnie says, OMG, right? You know, you don't always know these things are out there, but... One of our new friends, they were telling us all about the dark web and the things that can be found there. And I was like, oh, what? I know. I was horrified. And she's like, I was just looking at how ways I can pay off my student loans quicker. 
Oh my, Suzanne says that's like the guy selling cat hair balls. Uh, yeah, we could do that. We could definitely do that. You want some cat hair? Premium grade. That's not a cat hair ball, though. Oh, like out of an amount? Why would you buy that? I don't know. It's not like an owl pellet that you can like get bones out of no, and learn. No, no, it's not. We could make some money doing that. I was like, cats, go out in the yard. Come on, kids. Right. <laughs> make the red. All right, let's look at some stuff. Let's get there. Let's get there and get this get this going. Land the plane. Land this plane. Um, so hit that share button, everybody. We got 22 people. If y'all share, maybe we'll get up to 30 people. That would be great. Apparently, um, Cynthia found out that Facebook is not giving notifications that we're live. So maybe some of you got them finally. Maybe that's why our numbers picked up. But at the beginning, it was not letting people know. So there you go. Terrible. So please hit share um, and hit that like love if you like or love it. Um, somebody hit a frowny face, an angry face right here. I see it on my screen. Another one? No, just, well, I don't know. There's at least one there. So oh, wow, who I, cares? I hope that's a mistype where you Oh, well, us. they don't like it. Don't watch it. <clears throat> Suzanne says, I got a notification. You're on YouTube. So YouTube sent out notifications. That's good. Um, well, I was like, don't tell them that. We already have low subscriber numbers. <laughs> I know. Oh, well. You want to hang out with me? Don't hang out with me. Marion says, I got my own cat hairballs, so not purchasing more. I know. <laughs> right? We got other things to spend our money on, like kits. Like, what would you? Like, how kits. much would you charge for a hairball? I don't know. Curiosity. I don't know. Susan, how much is it? <laughs> I got. I got. I got to make some. Andrew's, I got to pay the mortgage this month. Suzanne, how much were they charging? Oh, I didn't. Suzanne, is Suzanne yeah. Is it like an exotic puke? <laughs> like, did they like ingest something interesting? Like maybe there's like a ba like a baby Jesus like those cakes. Susan got a Facebook notification. Harry saw it on Facebook and went to YouTube. Okay, so it must have sent it out at some point then. That's good. Because Cynthia said she was looking for it and waiting for it and never came up. Is it like those king cakes where there's like a prize in there? King cakes. Oh my it's goodness. It's got baby Jesus in it, and then you if you get the baby Jesus, then you have to you Oh, it was five dollars and it was an ordinary hairball. Oh, there's nothing, no surprise. No surprise. <laughs> so Jim must just been hair balled up. And there's another kind of cake. What's that cake it's called? It's in Mexico. It's for the king, something or another. And you have to make tamales for somebody, like everybody, if you get it. Oh, that was in that show we watched. Acapulco. Acapulco. Okay, so we talked about the creative Zoom make-along that we had. Um, last Friday, and I made some things during that. These are the two things I made. Andrew wasn't here for the most of the time, so thieving. so I had to do. Yeah, well, that he too. Turned to thievery. I turned to thievery, but also I had to moderate. So usually Andrew does that and does a better job than me, but he wasn't here, so I only made two things. Um, normally I try to make three, but I made these things out of some stolen pieces from Andrew. Correct, thievery. Sandy, hello, got a YouTube notification. Thank you for joining in. <clears throat> so this, these beads right my here, beads, my beads. these no, beads you can have those came ones. from this kit. <laughs> I just said, you can have those. I want them, that carved one, but cut it off. So if you didn't see this kit, this gets into our kits today. We're going to go over some kits and show you some things that you may have missed. Um, some things in the online store. Um, this kit has these beautiful beads in it, and this was a silver and blue mix, but I was feeling more of the gold and blue, so I added some of these um, faceted pearls that I stole from Andrew's collection. I added this hand-carved shell, mother, mother of pearl, pearl. hand-carved mother of pearl. The thick part. So um, you see Andrew. Nah, don't, you don't show it because people are going to ask for it. He had a bowl of these, so nah. I stole them. <laughs> he says, nah, you can't have those, everyone. So then I added some, we had some pewties here, these little spacers, and some other pewty spacers here, and then some Czech glass and some little rice pearls. These are um, glass rice pearls, I think. 
I live on the Royal Road Kit. The Royal Road Kit. If you got the Royal Road Kit, yeah, I was picking up. There's like all over this table various kits, um, and the Royal Road Kit had, I think, these the the check glass in it, I think, and these little uh, glass pearls. And then it has an allegory gallery fine pewter toggle because the toggle that come with this is beautiful. I love this owl toggle, it is um, but it is big for a bracelet. So I used one of our smaller ones. This is um, the little twisted one. It wouldn't be like. bad for a bracelet actually, but you'd have to have a chunky monkey bracelet. So multi-strand or a real big beads. Yeah. And then I took some uh, fire polished check glass that was here on the table and use those with some other pearls. If you're looking for vintage freshwater pearls, we have them in the online store now. They're all in the online store that we were showing you over the past few days, um, other than the ones we wanted to keep in the store. So those are in the online store. Uh, we didn't make a big splash about them going in there, so I finally sent out a post about it and let people know they were there. So if you'd like to pick up any uh, vintage freshwater pearls, they're really nice because for the price point, because they're vintage, um, we got a good deal, so you get a good deal. And um, because of pollution nowadays and rushing things to market, the NACRA does not, um, it's not as nice nowadays generally for the same price points. You gotta pay a lot more money to get a nice one. Um, so those vintage freshwater pearls in our online store are definitely worth grabbing if you've not already grabbed any. Um, and anyone out there who has, let people know that you like them because I know a lot of people have grabbed them and they love them. So in this kit, this is a little owly kit and you get this little ceramic owl, you get this owl toggle, you get this silver and clear check glass, you get these little foil glass beads here and then you get this check glass here. So I used some of that to make this, and um, I was gonna make more, but I ran out of time. My feet were getting too cold. We did, we did the Zoom for an, two and a half hours or so. That's because I started talking at the end. Andrew started talking at the end. And it wasn't quite, it was like two hours and 15 minutes because we started off 15 minutes late because there was something wrong with the link from Zoom. I was going in on my link, and it was not the same link that it gave me to share to everybody else. So I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> Suzanne says, I used that kit today. Nice, thank okay. you. Norma says, both pretty. I particularly like the blue one. Thank you. Yeah, this one, it came out a little bigger though. It's actually a little bit bigger on me, but wrists are all different sizes, right? So it's okay. It'll fit somebody. All right, now we're gonna do some last chance items by Andrew. Um, these are the last of the last of some of the things that he made. And if you don't grab them, um, they're going to go into his vault and they're going to go away. So these are going to have lot numbers. These are not going to be in any order. Um, these had lot numbers from um, when Andrew showed them, I think, one other time. And if you like them, now grab them. October 16th. October 16th, somewhere in there. So we're going to share them one more time. <clears throat> they will have the lot numbers. You just take down the lot number and send us an email. So I'm going to throw that banner up right now so that um, you all know how to claim these if you'd like. And like I said, it's going to be in no order, but I will show you the lot number and the item. All right. So this is lot seven. It's $45. This is a handcrafted um, bezeled check glass skull. So Andrew did the bezel work in silver. AG stamped on the back for Allegory Gallery. And that's $45. This is a wonderful way if you know how to bezel set things. This is a good way to do things too. You can bezel set check glass. But I think that's cool. If you like it, grab it now because it's going away soon. Lot number seven. $45. Again, these lots are in no order whatsoever. I'm just grabbing the bags as I grab them. But if you want that, tell us you want that because it's not anywhere. Did you yeah. just tell them that? Yes. You tell us you want the lot number, send us an email. Um, these are not in the online store. These are not in the physical store and these will be going away totally soon. Yeah. I thought people would like that, but who knows? <laughs> I thought people would like my work, but 
I guess it looks like garbage. And it looks like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Cindy says, so cute. I love that skull charm. I can totally see that on a funky bracelet, right? Bracelet, one a chain and pendant. You know, I had that in, so I made that, I made that into a piece last year for the touchstone auction. I made another one and it got into a bidding war and the necklace I made, it was that on a chain went for like $240. I, I can't even sell this by <laughs> for 45. Right. I said, I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So can I have an auction every day? Lot 11. This is $60. This is a silver oxidized flower with an eye. Stamped AG on the back again. Oh, we got an AG stamp. Did I tell you about that? Tell me? Yeah. I didn't know. No. Let me show it. <laughs> See, I don't even know these things sometimes. So this is a silver oxidized flower um and you could use that as a cute charm pendant sixty dollars lot 11 if you'd like to purchase send us lot 11 in an email to alleg to info at allegorygallery.com this is the last chance sale everyone last chance sale i'm actually gonna let's make a banner that says that Let's make a banner that says that. Last chance sale. How about that, everybody? Isn't that fancy? What did you just do? Oh, right here. Ooh, that's a big one. But that's nice. That actually has the dots and everything. Show it. Look at that, everybody. That's our new stamper. You can't see it, but this actually has like our, if you look at our logo, it has the A and the G and they have kind of a, there's a blank space in there, little dots through it. And those are actually in there. You know what those are, William? What? Beads. Beads. <laughs> he says beads, but they're Did blank. You, know they're, huh? you told me that before. And we, in our first store, there used to be the, there used to be a sign and it had raw iron and uh, the finials were that like that so we're no longer at that store and that sign no longer exists <laughs> but that's how oh, that got there we've got that on there which i'm oh wow <laughs> so there it is uh, but anyway this doesn't come with this is just showing you we got a new stamp yay for metalworking what's it actually look like let me see the stamp can't show the stamp though. Can't show the stamp. That's nice. You can show it, but not that one side. This is the stamp. Can't get it away from the camera enough because it's too tall, but that's the stamp. That's already rusty though. So uh oh. Um, Cindy says, so cute. Love that skull chart. Oh, well, the I already said that. <laughs> I already said that. That's not a skull charm. That's a flower charm. Okay, next. This is one that, like the last one. This is lot number 10. And this is another one of these. This is a little bit more because it has double layers to it. And it has this extra little embellishment on the, on the um, bell here. What kind of eyes are these, Andrew? Um, like a lizard eye? They're taxidermy eyes. I know. What kind of animal? Whatever is that size. <laughs> I think they're, either, they're some kind of amphibian or snake eyes or something. So there you go. When we were kids, there were, we used to read these fairy tales, and they would have flowers with eyes in them. So basically, I'm just reliving my childhood experiences over and over over and over. I haven't come up with anything new in 40 <laughs> years. Lot six is another one of these in yellow. Yellow and green, or yellow and blue, actually. Yellow and blue. Looks like green, because yellow and blue make green. Cynthia says, pull the camera tighter. I can't see well. I wish I could, Cynthia, but if I get any closer, it does this. You can't see it at all. 
these new cameras on these newest phones, you cannot get any closer than like this. It starts it's to so get. Weird. It's so weird. Yeah, because the cameras are bigger, the lenses are bigger, so apparently that makes the focal distance further. And these cameras are meant to switch. Like when you get up close normally, they switch to the wide angle camera to create a macro effect. And these programs that we stream from don't know that it should switch when we get like this. It should technically switch, but it doesn't know that. Now, there's no zoom on StreamYard, Cynthia. You said zoom doesn't work. Nope. No zoom function on StreamYard. Which you're going to find out about. You're going to find that out soon. So this is Lot 6, $45. I wish they had a zoom feature, but they don't. Maybe right to them. I know. I'm sure people have. They have to be doing something because it's been this phone, the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14 were the first first phones to have that issue because I had a 12 and I could get nice and close with it. But ever since they went to macro mode on the iPhones, because macro mode uses a different lens than this lens right here, these apps like StreamYard and Zoom and then don't know to switch. Maybe we'll get a fancy camera for you have a separate camera. We're talking about doing that. Yeah, we do have a camera. We could use ours. We have Will a fancy one. Zoom? Huh? Will that zoom? Yeah, should. On StreamYard? I don't know if you can hook up any other cameras to StreamYard. I have to read into that. Awesome. Lot number nine, $40 for these cute little earrings. Now, this is not a pattern Andrew created. This is in the pattern that Andrew used. With bead crumbs. Bead crumbs is the name of the company he got the pattern from. I got from Jamie. But it's cute, and he made them. It took a long time. And if you don't want to make them yourself, you can buy them for $40. Uh, Cynthia says, I wonder if a lens added would work. I don't know. If you added one of those phone lenses, I don't. I would assume it would, but I don't think you could change it on demand. So you either get your focal length or you get a zoom. I don't know. Like a monocle for the phone? Yeah, they make those, but... I think I have some. I bought it on... For the old phone. I know. I don't know what phone that was. Yeah, they probably wouldn't fit. Now, everyone's like... Well, now they're making... At least they're making custom cases that you can use the same lenses over. Because the lenses... Some of those lenses... There's one company. The lenses are like $120 a lens. Is it that Carl Zeiss or whatever? They use Zeiss Optics, I think. But it's Memento, I think, is the name of the company. Something like that. But their lenses are... They're supposed to be really good. I just can't afford that to try it. Your tech channel. My tech channel, right? And then you can talk like the people on the tech channel. On the tech channel. Let's take a look, everybody. He do, they do. Lot number eight are Even these little, little witches. Does that. These little witches. $40 for these earrings. I did them in black, but you couldn't see any of the details. So, so we did them in colors. These are fun. So if you like those, send us an email with lot eight in the email. And also, if you've not purchased with us recently or ever, make sure you send us your shipping address in that email as well, or follow up with your shipping address. <clears throat> Next up, lot 14, only $100, which this is a lot of work for $100. You can wear it as a ring or a pendant. It can be a ring if you want a, a party ring. If, but this is also, you can cut somebody's eyeball hole with that. Yeah, be so. careful when you're party, when you're partying with your party ring. So Don't have a little too much to drink and then go talking with your hands. Uh -huh. So this is not for people who talk with their hands. <laughs> right, like me. We were watching this one video and they're like, try to talk but not use your hands. <laughs> and the dude couldn't do the it. The dude was Italian too. And you know, there's always the stereotype that Italians talk with their hands. And so the, he, she actually made him put his hands behind his back, laying down, and his shoulders started moving. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. So this is a lot 14, $100. Um, this is, what is this, Andrew? What is it? Talk about it. Um, I was going to wash my brush out. Oh, he's going to wash his brush out, everybody. Um, it's brass and copper. Brass and copper. <laughs> I don't know what he cover, colored it with. 
we'll wait till he washes his brush out. But um, you can wear it as a pendant, you can wear it as a ring, you can dangle something from it here if you want to. Brass behind, copper in the front, colored in some way. I don't think it's enameled, doesn't look enameled, but it's only $100. So there you go. Lot 14, if you'd like that, send us an email. Lot 14, and you don't even have to give us any other information because we'll know if it comes in. If you're watching this video like three months from now, this these are gone, by the way. These are last chance items. These are going back into Andrew's vault. Um, he'll probably use them for samples or for his portfolio work if they don't sell. So there you go. There you go. One chance, last chance to get them. This I is really like, like whenever your... you play last chance or you say last chance, we should say, play that song. I don't know what song. Last that. dance. Oh, last dance. Lot three, one hundred eighty-five dollars. You know that song. I do know that song. This is Ocean Jasper double stacked. Ocean Jasper pieces. And it's a beautiful large pendant in silver. Andrew stamped the back. So you got moons and stars and flowers and a all-seeing eye there. And beautiful, he used some nice ocean jasper pieces in this. Some nice, nice pieces. So if you want that as a pendant, it's a beautiful pendant. 185, lot number three. 185, again, we're not doing these lot numbers in any order. So if you're just tuning in, you did not miss one and two. You missed like 14 and nine and six and right, seven, bingo, right? You never know what's gonna come up next. Who's got bingo? Who's got bingo so far? Oh, I forgot there was a chain on this. I was like, what is falling off of this? Lot 13, $240. How come you don't show it the penny? Because <laughs> I don't have my penny. I don't know where the penny is. Oh, there's a penny. I was cleaning. I don't know where the penny went. Mm. This is all copper. It's um, chasing repose for some of it. And then it's all cut out and soldered. And there's it's soldered in a way that there are, I think, six layers. But in theory, you're only allowed to do three layers. So somehow I voodoo witchcraft it so that I got to do that many layers. So here you go. Skulls and bones. Skulls and bones on I was gonna put a, a chain. Inside, but... On a chain. You can change out change out the chain if you need to or want to and use it for something else or use it in another way on another necklace that you create if you want but it is two hundred forty dollars two hundred forty dollars last chance at this i hope somebody takes this because well i, I kind of like it around because i like to see it but i would like to see this out in the world because i think it's super cool i'll just live in the world live in the vault and y'all think i'm joking You're, he's not. not joking everybody he is not joking Why would I joke about that? things go in the vault and they don't come out and then i say oh can i have this and he's like no <laughs> he's untight and the last last chance item i think for tonight is one of my very favorite pieces is this mermaid, mermaid. This Nobody jointed, I don't know why no one likes this. I love this. So this jointed mermaid could be a pendant, could be a brooch if you wanted to turn it into one. I was going to do a whole series of articulated creatures. Oh, I would love that. And then nobody liked this one, so. So he says, I gave up on that story. Yeah, I got like four views on Instagram. I said, why, why I even do this for? That's for my a, own self? That's a lot of work for that. He says, I know. Um, you know, though, I picked a really annoying song, so maybe that's fine. <laughs> so these are, um, this is, um, what's his name, right? Mm -mm. No? That's just Indonesian Carbone. Okay. They're all just Indonesian Carbone, this and this? The one in the middle is from Lou Zeldas. Lou Zeldas, that's what I was thinking. So this is Lou Zeldas, Indonesian Carbone. 
This is that ocean jasper, right? Turquoise. Or turquoise. This is turquoise. And, and then Milagro. Milagro hands. Did you make this up here? Um, that's from a plate or platter. A silver platter. Silver platter. Pieces and parts. And, and then you riveted it. it all together. Um, that is what's called um, a fire or what's that called? Something bulb rivet. It's not a real rivet. But you ball up the wire with the heat. So it makes it super dangerous because it can melt everything. Yeah, because you got to do that at the end. <laughs> You're like going to melt down everything. Yeah, correct. So that's 245. Otherwise, it goes back in the vault. Maybe I'll take it. He says you can't afford it. Correct. And I'll wear it. Nah. He says, nah. Just hand it over. I'll put it back in the vault. <laughs> nah. I'll go steal it later, everybody. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's a thief. I am a thief. You sometimes. saw him digging through my stuff. I said, that, is that what I think it is? That's what happens when you sleep. Yeah, he's like, you can't get sick because you get sick. <laughs> I go and take it all. You get Thanks. sick. I'm going to sell it all off. I don't remember that. <laughs> you sleep more than I do. And they're like, look at my new watch, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I just scraped the heck out of my watch. Poor watch. Okay, so let me take these banners away because these are no longer true. And we're just going to go to here. We're going to allegorygallery.com because we're going to take a look at some kits that I know y'all may have seen or may not have seen, but these are in the online store. And you can get them. Are people watching still? 21 people. Maybe ask them to share it, and we'll give them a kit. Oh, there you go. So if you share this video, let us know in the comments that you shared. And at the end of this video, we'll pick some person. You still have to be here to win. We'll pick some person um, to give a free kit to. I don't know which kit, but we'll pick a good one for you. You want to win a free kit? Share it, then. Hit the share. Susan says, I shared. Okay. First, and you're the first entry. Starting here, first entry. I know some of y'all said shared already, so if you did, say it again. So we have them all together or closer together anyway. All right. First little kit. This is either Inspiration Kit 56 or 57. They were both in the same bag. Um, so this is a cute little Inspiration Kit with some check glass with some painted Chinese ceramic. And more glazed, check glass. Glazed. glazed, glazed, glazed Chinese ceramic. Debbie says, I shared. Thank you so much. Marianne shared. Suzanne shared. I think those are two that said it before, too. All right. So this is the last of this kit. There's only one of these left. Somebody go get it. Take this little cute little blue and yellow kit. It's either Inspiration Kit 57 or 56. So maybe you missed that. If you missed that, how cute would that be? That's enough to make a little pair of earrings. Carla shared. Thank you so much, Carla, for sharing. I'm seeing names sharing who don't talk a lot to us. Talk Who's in the Carla? Carla Hartzog. Oh, she was watching last night. Mm, yeah, good, good, good. Thank you. Yeah, please comment, everybody. Don't be afraid to comment. Some people are afraid to say things. We, I'm not going to tell you how hard it is to chat on these videos, and if Cynthia's still here, she can say too, to chat on these videos and not have comments, because then we don't know if you're interested, we don't know if you're bored to death. I just talk anyway. Andrew just talks anyway. Me, I get in my head, because I have anxiety. So I sit here and I start thinking, okay, well, we only have a few people watching. Maybe they don't really care or like what I'm saying. Am I saying something stupid? So we like comments. When you comment back, it's always nice. Even if you just tell us what you did in your day or what you're planning to do, what you're going to have for dinner. We don't know what we're having for dinner yet. Andrew Cupboard made yesterday. I don't know how he created stuff from what we had, but he did. He made a good meal. So um, I don't think I can do it again. <laughs> I don't think you can either. I don't know how you did it last night. So I might be able to, but... This is either, again, Inspiration Kit 56 or 57. Um, there are two or three of these left. 
And I think this is just a cute little one. You get this check glass swallow or some kind of bird. You Okay. Let, I'm going to tell it, William. Oh, I'm going to go off script. I'm going to tell it. Okay. Those uh -oh. are such a pain in the ASS <laughs> to import into this country. And I, that's the first time we dabbled with importing directly from the Czech Republic. It took six months, y'all. Yeah, it did. Uh, and no one in the country had them when we ordered them. And now you can get them, find it on the street. <laughs> Pretty much. And by the time we got them, people already, and I'm like, why did you take six months? I learned how to do it. And it was not the way that we did it the first yeah, time. Yeah, the next time, Andrew got them fast. Well, and then the next time after that, then it was pandemic time. And then it got stuck in a harbor in New York going, yeah. waiting through. Plus, rooms. a lot of these, because of the way they packed them, came in broken. So even once we got them, they were broken. I didn't know that. Well, there were a few. Yep. So there you go. There you go. Um, that's why we pack everything so nice, so things don't break. Um, Carla says, I loved the articulated robot-looking pendant. The mermaid. Me too. It's one of my very favorite pieces. I don't know why no one has bought it. It's expensive. It is expensive, but it's not you as expensive as I, Andrew, priced those. And I'm telling you, everybody, it's not as much as I would have priced it for that amount of work. There, we. I was looking at some of the feeds from New York Jewelry Week, and I'm like... You you can't even see my face, but there is a look of confusion. <laughs> Why are you confused, Andrew? Um, because apparently I've been selling my stuff for the price of dirt. I um, know. I try and tell him. But you know, that's New York prices. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a World Wide Web, though, now. We just got to hit those people. We got to reach out to everybody. That's why we ask you to share. Ask you to share. Because you never know who wants an articulated mermaid robot looking creature. You know, I did like that movie. Or actually, I didn't like the movie. But I liked the way it looked. What movie? Metropolis. Oh, I don't think I watched that. We have it. I know. <laughs> you want to take I think that? I fell asleep to it a few times. Correct. But I've never seen it all the way through. Correct. Suzanne says, I love those birds, right? So you also get these little, um, what do you call it, pinch beads? Yeah. They're in... They're uh, unusual stripes. Yeah. And then you get these check glass flowers, the glazed Chinese ceramic, and this beautiful little bead. So only a few of those kits left. Either Inspiration Kit 56 or 57, one of the two. You can search for it in the online store at allegorygallery.com and grab it right now. I don't know what we're going to do if y'all don't buy these kits. Not doing I know, right? We stopped doing kits once. We did I don't know if people that. remember that or not. Debbie says, for this kit, you have to consider your additional cost of importing. I know. We have to consider those things. Um, uh, the bead is not cheap, by no, the way. That's yeah. why we had to break them up. Yeah, we have full strands of those beads still in the store, but they're like 24 or $27 a strand. People, so when they pick it up, they act like they got burned. Yeah. They drop it. And it's like, they're totally worth it, but we get that reaction all the time. Mm -hmm. And so, there you go. Suzanne says, I just ordered online. Thank you. Thank you. We friend. appreciate that. We appreciate we that. Can for dinner now. We, can, we can get some groceries. It's hard times, y'all. I'm telling you, we've had about five or six days in the physical store where we've had zero to $20 only. I say we close it. We're getting very close to it. I hate to do it. And I know I'm going to be the holdout, but we're getting very close to closing the store, I think. Physical and I hate store. that, the physical store. And I hate that, but uh, Andrew's pressuring more and more. He's ready. He says, yeah, close it I'm, down. You know, the thing is, is like, if something's not working, I'm not going to uh, belabor it. Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe the end of the year. Maybe that'll be the hurrah. The fourth quarter. Generally, our fourth quarter is not very strong. So no, and we have all this stuff. We have Black Friday. We have Small Business Saturday. We have the holidays. It's still not great. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we don't have to close. We have people who like us, but 
It'll open up a spot in town for somebody. Yeah, I know. All right, so this little kit, nice. this little kit, Inspiration Kit 54. And we have these little pinch beads. We have these um, Lucerna bicones, which if you don't like this color, you get this with the kit. But we have a whole rainbow of these. Just look up Lucerna bicone in the online store. And we have all the colors you could want, and they're cheap. They are not that expensive, everybody. I think they're like what are they, three dollars a strand, four dollars a strand, something like that. And then these, what are these, Andrew? They're palm, palm wood. wood. But so they're not from, fossilized. Not fossilized. Fresh. Fresh palm wood. And then you get this glass bead, this little pinched, beautiful glass bead, this lampwork glass. From Austria. From Austria. And then you get this little golden frog. Gold plated. Gold plated little frog bead. Hole goes top to bottom through the back. Underneath. That's a cute little frog. I forgot about that little frog. I don't even remember we bought it. I think we bought it in Tucson because I had those and little bears that were gold plated. And I am completely blinked out on where it came from. <laughs> where and why? Um, I like them, but that's probably the why. <laughs> but the where they came from was a random bag just showed up. Okay, so this is Inspiration Kit 54 in the online store. If you'd like to purchase that, we have a number of these left. That was not a big seller. Don't know why. It's my favorite color, and I love frogs. Amanda just shared to Facebook. Thank you so much. If you share this video, you have a chance to win one of some kit. We're going to pick a kit, and we're going to... Probably gonna... that one. <laughs> and this is probably that one. You're going to win a frog kit. We'll pick a good one for you. Um, we'll try and make sure if you've ordered with us before, you don't get the same kit that you've ordered before. You get whatever. Andrew says you get whatever you get. Correct. You can pass it on to somebody else. Then. That's true. So this is Hamilton Gold. That's gold-plated. Well, kind of gold-plated. Um, it has a little bit of gold in it. Uh, plastic. So these are super light, but very nice. And then Unikite. Mm-hmm. This is hand carved unikite. And then you get these little these little beads, these little drops, and these little coins. And this one is inspiration kit number 59, everybody. 59, if you like that. I think that's a good thing for this time of year. I think those are nice colors. And I don't know why. I'm not usually a gold person, but I'm liking gold lately. There's a cute little house that I saw on the internet for sale. Oh, yeah? That's near the other store. Oh, see, Andrew's trying to move us again. He's pressuring hard lately, everybody. Well, I would have, um, I would like to have a break. It seems like we're constantly working, working, working. It would be nice just to be like, <sighs> To relax a little bit? Yes. Actually breathe? Yeah. Cut our expenses and say, okay. Inspiration kit 53. There's only one of these left. This is a cool kit too. There are so many kits in our inventory. I have forgotten about them. Um, this is the Chinese ceramic. These cute little leaves. This has been good for fall. Cynthia, I could probably buy you your own house. <laughs> He's trying to get Cynthia to move up here. You can have live part time. Live part time. What are these little orangey ones, Andrew? Do you remember? Beads. Beads. These ones. Um, those ones are they're glass, but they are a type of glass where they um put a lot of pigment in the glass, so they go they kind of glow almost. So you have those. You have these. You have these little spacers. You have these little beads. This check. Check glass. Vintage. Pinch beads. And then you have this. Carnelian? Yeah. Carnelian. You know, I'm Hold thinking this. about changing some of the um, the ways we um, label things. Because for some of the stuff, 
Um, and this came to me in my mind just in, now <laughs> in a random way because um, some people they'll buy stuff called citrine and it's actually amethyst. It's been heat treated. And the reason why that came to mind is that a lot of carnelian is agate that's been heat treated. Now, when I say heat treated, people are like, oh my gosh, they're using like the chemical. And it's like a clay pot in the dirt. It's <laughs> not, it's not. Um, yeah, so instead of sitting under the earth for another million years and getting heat treated with a volcano, with a volcano um, or the, the center of the earth moving, we do it ourselves. Well, somebody does it. Some, yeah, we don't do it. I've seen we, it as a human civilization, as a human society, <laughs> do it ourselves. So here we have African glass beads. We have another one of these uh, Czech glass swallows or birds. We have the pinch beads. We have these check glass little nuggets, nuggety drops. And then we have these little check glass beads. This is inspiration kit number 52. If you like that, check it out in the online store. Suzanne says, I'm okay with heat treated as long as they tell me. It's always good to know, right? It's always good to know. I don't know. Something died. I still like it. Died. I prefer to know it's died, especially when we're selling it well, to other people. I'm not gonna sell it and it's died and then try to pretend like it's something. Right. right. That's happened to us a few times. Don't like that feeling. We've gotten better at ex um, inspecting things closer, unless we're William. working with our trusted, huh? That's William. What's William? I know when things are died. Do you know when things are died? Except for that one time. He told me this, this raspberry or ruby quartz and then it washed out. Y'all want to see? I'll show you. He's Today still. No, he's still, he's still thinking about that one. Okay. We still have, um, Suzanne says, you and Andrew have told me not to be snobby about jewelry beads. Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> you like Tom, don't, it's not about snobby. It's just about knowing things, right? As long as you know things, you can proceed as you wish. But don't show it where they can, oh. So those ones, when they first came out, they look like these ones. Like these. Real rubies. And he got these that look dark, dark red. And my hands looked pink. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I must have gotten an allergic reaction or my hands must be real raw from. So they went from this color. Maybe even darker a little bit. To this color. And so I, my hands, I thought that it was from the bags because I was carrying real heavy bags. And um, so I thought maybe they were red from the bags and it was not, it was dye. And I put them in water and it just bled. So bled. I can't use those. So this is a kit that, this is the Royal Road. And we were talking about this the other day about how it's such a good deal. It's only, I think, $32, it apart. which is this check glasser. And there's the, there's those glass um, rice pearls that I used in my bracelet here. So they're from this kit. Um, you get this check glass strand. That's not a cheap strand. None of these are, yeah. It's like- Well, that one is table cut, and so it's more work, so it costs more. So you get all these, there's some more rice in the red and you get these little ones and you get these little crystals you get an AG fine pewter piece, you get these daggers and then you get an entire kit, a um, luxury bead blend. Beautiful. And you get all of that, I think it's $32. There's one or two of these left in the online store, I think. And then there's a few mixes, I think, available if you just want the mix. 
So if you have not gotten that yet, I highly suggest grabbing that um, because it's a beautiful color. Um, we were talking about this on the, um, the creative make along, how people were like, I got it because you showed it again and I didn't realize how pretty it was. And these are beautiful colors for winter to start working on winter projects. That nice deep red and golds. But um, that's a lot of beads. That's a, obviously we gave you a good deal on this one. That was back when um, we had stuff that, you know, we got for a good price. Probably ordered a lot of this before the pandemic and had it. Because $32 for a kit like that was never going to happen again, unfortunately. Yes. This probably right now should be about a $64 kit. It should be double. Um, but He's not exaggerating. No, I'm not exaggerating. This should be about a $64 kit. I wonder if our neighbor is in Johnstown today. <laughs> Andrew's really pushing it now. Well, she's practical. We're going into the slow time. All right, so that's that. Let's see what else. Think about it. I know I can't handle that right now. My head. Carla says I got a pair of blue reading glasses that left blue rings in my, around my eyes, like something from the Little Rascals. That's cute. <laughs> Did you watch that one meme where that where the elf on the shelf drew on that girl's face, and she's like, "It's not funny." It's not funny. No, I'm not school. I did not see that. And she's so mad. I'd be mad and the too. Parent, and you know, the parent drew on my face with permanent marker. Oh. And the little girl's horrified. That's like, questionable parenting. Funny. Questionable no, parenting. Funny. That, that Just girl for lived video. In, in immortality. Funny. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. It's correct. She did. I know her now. That's my friend. <laughs> you know her now. Little Norma says, the internet. I gave the necklace, bracelet, and earrings I made from the Royal Road kit to a friend, and she absolutely loves them. Good. That's nice. Perfect for this time of year. Perfect for this time of year. Um, so, this is the Butterfly Garden Kit, and I thought this would sell out immediately. And we have a number of these left. We made a lot of them anyway. I like that. But I think it's a gorgeous kit in these light pinks and greens. Very springy, very summery. Butterfly yeah, garden early kit. Start. Get an early start, exactly. So you get these little A B coated little butterflies. Is this jade or is this? I can't remember. Mm. Should be in the description. Um, but this is a stone. This is a carved <laughs> stone of some sort. It looks like jade. I think it's a jade. Um, but it should be in the description. You get these vintage, now probably antique yeah. antique sequins. And these are cool. Um, I'm going to take some of them out. I'm not going to dump them all out because they're wild. They, they stick to stuff. They stick to stuff. They got static. that static. But look at that. Make little fairy wings on something. Little earrings, didn't you? Where did we put it in the? Did you have earrings that were made with some of these? Mm -hmm. I just think I saw them. Here they are. I found one of them. I so think I only made one. You might have only made one for a sample. So here, Andrew, I'm gonna put these back in here before I let them loose on the table and they stick to everything. See, they're sticking to my hand. It's high static times, everybody. There's no moisture in the air now that winter's come. Look at that. It will let go. Julie just ordered the Royal Road kit. Thank you so much. You're going to love it, I think. So here's Andrew used some other sequins with this. Put them on this little bar. And just made these beautiful little earrings. Are any of our friends title lawyers? Title lawyers. I want to look up a title. Oh. <laughs> See if it's a scam or not. Probably. Oh, Teresa yeah. says, I have the butterfly garden kit. Love it. Made jewelry for my daughter. Thank you. Oh, nice. Post a picture of it in the group. Yeah, make sure you post a picture. Maybe we'll start a new group. Just Or can we change the name? We're, we can change the name. We need to change the name. 
y'all agb fam i don't know what we're gonna call it but is that what we're gonna call it i don't know maybe is that the thing we should make that a thing um Cindy says, I got three new colors of watercolors. They're beautiful and unusual. Nice. What is it? Is that for your birthday? Is that your birthday? What do you want for your birthday? I asked you and you didn't say. You said chocolate cake. I'm not sending you a chocolate cake. In the <laughs> so here we have those. Those are the same sequins here that you get in this butterfly garden kit. Just search butterfly garden in the online store and you'll find that. Oh, we never showed those, I don't think. Oh, okay. Well, let me put this away. And then we'll show that. It looks kind of janky when it's not worn, but it looks better worn. Amanda says, that. Royal Road is sold out. All right. Speaking of Royal Road. Speaking of Royal Road, now that it's sold out, let me show you something beautiful that Andrew made with it. Let's see if I can get this here. How about that? How about that, everybody? It looks better when it's on. It looks pretty good that way, too. No, because it flares out purposefully when it's worn that that's not how it goes he says that's not how it works everybody anyway there is a brace or brace a necklace andrew made with royal road correct correct all right i'm gonna start calling like that little girl now i've been listening to these books on tape have you all have ever had this so do you have a internal monologue in your brain or no? We've talked about this on the lives before. I was talking about whether you have an internal, because I do. And I talk to myself in my head. Okay. And then part B of that question is, is it influenced by books on tape or audio books when you're, or whatever, when you're around somebody? Because I've been listening to one book and they have this rule this like cockney accent and in my mind i start talking like that and it sounds different cynthia says naphthamide maroon perylene black gouache and perylene green oh that's what you got yeah do you want more of that is that <laughs> what you want for your birthday cynthia your window is closing andrew or amanda says model it andrew nah he says, nah. I'm just like the homeless today. Teresa says, wow, Andrew. What? Wow, what? She'd like the necklace. Oh, I said, oh, hey, what? 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 You trying to fight? <laughs> Andrew's in a fighting mood today. I know. I guess that's because he has a mood. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why in the world? What is going on here? I put this in here. I thought that went in here. Am I making a mess? Maybe we should get a, a trailer when it's here. That's something we're going to do a bathroom finally. Oh my goodness. Okay. That'd be cute. The cats would love it. Susan says, I always have an internal monologue going. Sometimes I do the mimicry things as well. Isn't that weird? So this I is called Dream Time. Dream Time. There's only one of these left. This was a dreamy kit. These little blues and purples. You get this mix, the luxury bead blend. You get this tube of seed beads. And you get all this stuff in this bag. Whoa, whoa. I can't believe this is not completely sold out. How many we have left? Just this one. So you get this AG Fine Pewter toggle. Uh, do we still have that? I don't know, because I was just going to ask you. I think it might be special. That might have been a special edition because I don't remember seeing this in the bins. I could be just mistaken though. And then you get all this, all this stuff. I'm trying to separate it here a little bit for y'all so it's not a visual making you crazy visually. So there's amethyst in here. There's check glass. There's, um, what is this one? Is that, um, that's amethyst. Is that amethyst? Mm -hmm. It's I was just thinking a different color. kind of or not fluorite. Um, and you get all this. Suzanne says, I have that kit. It's a great one. Cindy yeah, says, like that's it. a beautiful blend.
So what do you want? Cynthia says, I'd love more colors. I'll make a little palette for you. These three together would blend into something, some interesting darks with granulation in the watered down parts. Go send me the link privately. Otherwise it's going to be sold out. I know. Carla says, lavender blue dilly dilly with, mm -hmm. with song notes. I don't know. Is that a song? I don't know that song. Mm -hmm. But this is, I think, a really beautiful kit. I okay. honestly did not know it was still available. Harry and, Styles. And can't believe it's so. I do like Harry Styles. I don't know. The new one, the side boot cocaine one. I'm not, I don't know if I know that one, but I have liked. I was horrified by it. I have liked most of his music, though. I have well, to the say. the one, you didn't have a choice but like it. Because it was on the radio <laughs> All the time. the time. That watermelon sugar. Carla says, you're too young for Lavender Blue Dilly Dilly. I don't know. We're not as young as people think. <laughs> we just don't know everything. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to show this one right now. Is it spilling? Huh? Is it spilling? It's, um, it needs a pendant, and I don't have the pendant here with me. So here's Inspiration Kit Rosalind. I went through about a week where I started naming the kits after people. He was actually naming You get this fantastic little lovely flashy container. I bag. think there's a show called Rosalind now. It's about Shakes. Shake, um, it's a, uh, what's that name? Romeo side piece. Juliet? What? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> Rosalind. I don't know. He got, he's in love with oh, Rosalinda. Rosalinda. Ros Rosalinda. Rosalind. And then she's like, nah. And then he's like, okay. Hey, what's up, Juliet? Carla says, it's from an old elementary school music book. When they still had the arts in school? We had to sing some songs, y'all. We did, too. And act them out. Uh -huh. Like London Bridge and... They made us get dressed up. There's some embarrassing pictures <laughs> floating around that probably get canceled if people saw them. I out. know. And the I was things like, we had, y'all. I had to make a Native American headdress for a school play. And if anybody did that nowadays, it depends what part of the country. You're in. I guess. Did you see that little boy dressed up like that insurrection one? And I was like, oh my god. No, I did not. So you, in this, you get some rose quartz. You get lots of these are large strands. I forget. I forgot we had these big strands of Czech glass. You get two strands of Czech glass. That's that kind with the gold in it. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can see it sparkle. And then you get this strand, which has some nice sparkly AB finish to it. You get some crackle glass here some of these little ceramic um, pony beads. Is it ceramic or glass? Those are ceramic. Those are ceramic, that's what I thought. And some crystal. The, some people call them roller beads. Roller beads, yeah, they call them roller beads. We call them pony beads because we're from that generation. Uh -huh. The pony bead generation. So this is um, Inspiration Kit Rosalind. And there's only this one available. So grab it if you like this. Help clear out the online store of some of these leftover kits. I'll knock out. Knock it out, Andrew says. Is it TKO? To technical knockout? TKO? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's when you don't... I think it goes so long that they have to call it. Oh, really? So it's a, technically it's a knockout because they've called it. But it, they didn't actually go unconscious and get knocked out. Uh, the, should, I'm about to get unconscious with how many kids we have. <laughs> I know, right? Next up, Belvedere. Inspiration kit, Belvedere. You remember Mr. Belvedere? I do remember Mr. Belvedere. That was one of my favorite shows. I'm surprised you haven't watched it recently. It's hard to find. I don't think it, they play it. Sometimes there's older shows. Did it get canceled? I don't know. Like, you know, that kind of canceled? I Not know. like regular canceled? Not like regular canceled. So this is Inspiration Kit Belvedere. And beautiful, beautiful blues. 
you get this Chinese, painted Chinese ceramic, hand painted. You get these, ch huh? Glazed. glazed. How can we always say painted? I don't know. You keep saying painted, but paint is different than glaze. These are probably marked painted on the thing as we did the things. Mm, it's glazed. Um, Suzanne says the blues in that kit are lush. I have two of that kit. Thank you. They are. They are. These are a magnificent deep blue. Like a cobalt. It's that cobalt blue, like that cobalt glassware. And, or like a real deep uh, sapphire. So you get those, the drops, you get the faceted rounds, and you get the Chinese ceramic. Yeah, I don't know. And that's Belvedere. B-E-L-E-V-E-D-E-R-E. -E -E -E. I'm trying to stand back. Come on, Did you watch that TV show? <laughs> Andrew's getting bored already. You getting bored, Andrew? Uh, sometimes I get antsy. I don't know what to do. Next up, we have the Lovebird kit. This is the only kit I think we've ever supplied, like, wire with. Mm -hmm. We very rarely include craft wire, like wire wire, in a kit and chain. Let me see if I can get this untangled. That did you make a specific project for that one? Yeah, there was a project for this. I don't know where the sample is. I don't know either. But you don't have to make the project. Do you, I'm sure normally it was... we don't do that and somebody who's like, You need a design thing, you need a design thing and we did and <laughs> and now we have a lot of these left. So I don't know what was with this or what this created. Because it must have been a necklace because the chain is long enough for a necklace because in tight. Chain is long enough for a necklace. So this must have, must have been a pendant that this made because there's not two of everything for earrings. Um, they... Susan says, I'm in love with the lovebird charm. This is an AG Fine Pewter lovebird charm. This is an antique gold. I love that charm too. I think it went like this. So this would go, I don't know if I'm on camera, but it would be. Fingers on it. Or something like that. And then this hanged at the bottom, and then one of them like hung from the bottom. I don't know. There's a video <laughs> about it somewhere. Somewhere there's a video on it. Um, but yeah, so this is the Lovebird kit. It is available in quantity in the online store so feel free to buy two um, and share them with your friends um, they would make great gifts you can craft together or we'll just make it real fast the chain is probably worth it i know i don't know what these are priced but i'm sure the prices are um good on this our kits are always good priced i think i think so i think we give a good deal with our kits because if you were to buy any of, we always try and make it that if you were to buy any of these kits in store separately, you'd pay more. Well, so I like to get a good deal, like right? Just like a surprise. Like we should just price them that whatever that would be in store, we just put it together for you, and that's the price. But we actually give you a discount when you buy the kit, whether you know that or not. Candle just go out. Does the candle just go out? We're not on fire or anything. They still smoke. Probably. Probably on fire. Okay, maybe that's. Maybe I'm just now touching it. It's kind of a warm smell. Maybe that's it. This is the Tree of Life kit. We have a lot of these as well. Um, this is one of those kits that I think either it didn't. It, we thought we put it online and didn't, or something happened with this. Um, but it's been online for a little bit now, back where it should be. You get this pendant, you get these um, glass pearls, you get this toggle set here, and get it undone. How did that do that? Looped right through there. Anyway, you get the idea, toggle set. <laughs> then you get these check glass um, fire polish beads. And I think these are all hematite. Hematite tubes. Yeah, electroplated. electroplated hematite tubes in two different colors. 
you get these long strands of these, very long strands. Trace says, love the prices of y'all's kits. Thank you. These hematite tubes are awesome. And then you get a whole bag yeah, you're talking to of one. these little bead caps. We're talking to another owner and they of a bead store, and they're like, you should raise your kit price. And I was like, ah, people don't buy them now. <laughs> if we raise the price, I don't know if anybody's going to buy it. We'll go out of business quicker. I said, do people think our kits are junk because we have low prices? That would be the only reason raising the prices might work. Like a per perceived value? Yeah. I don't know. So you get this whole bag of these, which is crazy, actually. You can probably tell we're in a very contemplative mood in the sense that we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. Yeah, what our next move has to be. Because I, I don't want to close completely, but... Um, close completely, get a corporate job. Um, you know what? I've, there's a job opening touchstone. <laughs> he says, maybe I could do that. 32000 it's good for this area. Yeah. Benefits. Benefits would be nice. Be nice for you to have health care. I was thinking for you, Lily. For me? For me? I just go to my other job and do full time. Aren't you full time anyways? Um, yeah, kind of. But I could do yeah. extra hours. And that if I was sounds like not. Nah. You just get another job and you just keep, so you have two jobs. <laughs> and what are you going to be doing? Lady of Leisure. Uh huh. What am I showing? I don't know why I'm showing that, but I have a feeling that we did this at some point. Maybe turn it over. I have the pendant. Oh, that's the crackle side. Do y'all like that? Marion says, I have the Tree of Life kit. Thank you. Suzanne says, I thought you were moving, lol. Who I know. knows? Even closer to the new job. <laughs> that would actually be further away from the new I job. Know. I just find one in Johnstown. Be closer to my job, my other job. Maybe I'll make pies. You can make pies. There used to be this really good pie place called Vatabooks. Yeah. And they were like dirt cheap, which is probably why they went out of business. And they were in an old gas station. They were in an old gas station, which didn't help. People kept pulling up for gas. <laughs> there was no gas to be had. This pies. Mm -hmm. We'll call it Sassy's Cake and Pie. Andrew's going to open Sassy's Cake and Pie. He can be sassy all day. No, then. no, no. Sassy is Babette. Babette is sassy. There'll be uh, a thing of Babette kneading the dough. <laughs> Babette. I miss Babette. I miss that girl. Okay. Here I is. That would be cute. That would be very cute. I said it would be cute. I think I need to make a painting of that just to have it. You should. Like make it like an old timey sign. Now this, I don't know what number this is. Blue kit. But it's a fishy kit. It has these little glass fishies, and it has this Pisces or just multiple fish check glass. We shouldn't even button. Make fish miss. Fish miss. <laughs> and we'll we'll rebrand it and we'll sell it. Fish miss. And there you go. That's a little inexpensive kit, I'm sure. Only people around here would know what Fishmas is. Yeah, are. I don't think Fishmas is. Fishmas in your neck of the woods, wherever you are? Here, Fishmas is when fishing season starts. They stock their trout streams. They stock the trout streams, yeah. And everybody around here sets up. Well, not everybody. We don't do it. But all along all the streams and rivers here, um, they call it Fishmas. And people camp they and even have off of school they have yeah they get school off on the first day of hunting and the first day of fishing generally because they know if they don't give the kids off that day they're going to take it off anyway and their parents are the ones doing it so there's not much they can do about it and um yeah fishmas exactly susan fishmas do they have that there no she's like question 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 oh. yep so everybody camps out and they wait for the fishing season to start. Here's another kit. I don't know these numbers. Oh, these are Kitapalooza kits. That's why. This is Kitapalooza kit number five, I believe. The last one I think was three. Kitapalooza. 
That's when we did so many kits. I think we did like 70 kits. 70 kits. There were like 10 to 15 kits every day for like a week. Did y'all like that? We were releasing kits. You probably didn't even see them all. We were releasing them so fast and furious-like. Diane says, while you're still going, I had to get off when Chris called on his way home and figured you guys would be done by now. Nope. Nope. We're, we're still going. We're just going to have a marathon. We're just going to have a marathon. Like Jerry Lewis. <laughs> and we'll have an intermission and William will do a dance. We're not starting a new video ever again until you all buy our kits. <laughs> the, you're going to tune into Allegory. It's just going to be us talking about kits again and fishmas nonstop until you buy them. Once we sell out of enough, we'll close down the. Oh, no. Once we have enough to pay the mortgage, <laughs> we'll, we'll end the live. We'll end the live and start something new. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> Never going to end. Welcome to hour 52 of the live stream event. <laughs> Carla says, have you seen the fish being stocked? They shoot them out of a truck right into the river. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Sometimes they just take containers of fish. They, they have so many. Sometimes it used to be that they were, um, you know, like a, a styrofoam containers. Huh. And they'd take them and dunk them under and let the fish out. That Europe, you went to the budget stream. The <laughs> one that she's talking about is like when they stock the big fish. Because yeah. they let them grow in the hatchery. This is Kitapalooza kit number two, I believe. And it has this vintage Chinese ceramic. It has this AG fine pewter toggle, the floral toggle in antique gold. It has this check glass, this check glass, and it has a tube of vintage seed beads. I thought Carla is from North Carolina. Probably. Probably. Is that for all of Appalachia? Suzanne says, I loved Kitapalooza, but my bank account didn't. Well, you got good stuff, right? Right. Diane says, same here, Suzanne. I like Kitapalooza a lot, especially this one. Rainbow Promise. Is that the one that Snoopy wanted? Didn't she get one? Let me see it. Let me see it. That's one for Cynthia. Okay, never mind, everybody. I thought I set a separate one aside. She didn't get it? No. Okay, then here, give that one. Here. Take that one. Take it out of my my sight. This is the one. Is Cynthia still watching? Cynthia, Confirm are you watching? It. Are you watching, Cynthia? Is this the one you wanted? See, I'm going to tease everybody now. But you could have had it during Kitapalooza. So I think that's the one. Cynthia, let us know if you're still watching. Remember, if you share this video, you could win a kit. Just share the video. Just share the last part. Let us, let us know that you've shared this video. And if you're still here at the end when we call for the winner, you can win. But you have to be here at the end. Um, Suzanne says, it was a great kit. I got it. Um, Diane says, I didn't realize they stocked the stream here for several years after I lived here. I just thought... Fish always live there. My stepson, stepson thought that was hilarious. Mm. In some places they do, but they got overfished and then they yeah. stopped. Cynthia says, I think so. That was the one with the big rainbow one. And then, so this kit is she Kitapalooza kit ones. number one. Huh? She wanted those rectangles in the, like, I can't, like in the rainbow color. These ones, the so strand. Her necklaces. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. Um, you get this check glass button. Button. Diane says, I loved the rainbow kit, especially that big bead. This is Kitapalooza kit number one for this one. There's only one of these left. So if you like that, grab that in the online store, allegorygallery.com. Make sure you share this video to win a kit. You have to say in the comments, shared, so we know you shared it. And Andrew's going to check up on you. Well, the one, the one time when we didn't have them say it, uh, I was searching high and low, and I must have missed somebody. Because after, I think, I came across somebody who shared it, and I didn't enter them in the thing. See, we try and make sure we enter you. But... I don't think I was friends with them on Facebook, so 
so. Yeah, you have to share publicly so we can see it too. If you share it only with your friends and we're not your friend, we can't see it, everybody. So share it publicly. Make sure you change that to public. Like sharing to your phone if you prefer this. Right. Blocking a user here. Blocking a user here. We got some porn happening on the comments. Oh, great. I know, right? As I tap it, it wouldn't let me take it away, so it made me tap it. Great. That's... So you opened it? No, I didn't open it. I just shared it with everybody on the screen. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? It says, oh, this is already away. So then I tap to get out of it, and it puts it on the screen. Nice. Perfect. Um, Carla said, there's a fish hatchery in the North Carolina mountains we used to visit. Trout in every size imaginable. They're really pretty. They have rainbow scales. All right. Um, Carla says, good point going to check. What's she going to check? Mm. I don't know. What point are we making? I forgot if we made I it. I know. I was, I was dealing with the porn. <laughs> All right. So in this kit, you get this wonderful little butterfly oh, barrel. It was public or not? Oh, public. Yes. Thank you. This is a butterfly barrel bead. This is from the Allegory Gallery Fine Pewter line. This is an antique silver. So you get that. Not a lot of people have seen this bead, I think. Yeah, Carlos is public sharing. Good. And then you get these check glass little butterflies. All these little, ch I love this strand. This is a long strand. It's like a double strand. I hoard those. Diane says, I shared. Thank you. And then you get these check glass. And then you get this little, is this faux enamel? Um, it's cold enamel. Cold enamel. Which means resin. Resin. Faux enamel. Faux enamel. Faux enamel. Faux enamel. All right, so this is Kitapalooza kit number seven. If you type Kitapalooza, you'll see all the Kitapalooza kits that are still available. This is number seven. There's a few of these left, so you can grab those if you'd like. I think we should set up a bell of whenever we make a sale. Like a at sale. The so then we can know that we're going to go to dinner. I think we made... Two cells during this live? Maybe three? What? Maybe two. I don't know if you, I didn't check the email, y'all, if you got any of Andrew's last chance stuff. Well, there's a lady at the um, Giant Eagle, and she pretends like she's playing the violin, and she plays the recording of a violin. Oh, I saw that. Um, they were and, talking about her. And I was like, that's a good idea. They're all like, she's a cheat. She's a lying a cheat. Oh, like wow. she never said she was playing. She's just doing like a performance. It's a yeah. It's what a lot of people perform. Like you know, people don't get mad at Britney Spears, right? Or Madonna, or anybody who lip syncs. Who lip syncs? And those tickets, I guarantee, are more expensive <laughs> than that evil lady that she's asking for donations. And they're like, she drove away in a car. Like, Good. We all don't know what it was probably before, I guess. All right. So this is Kitapalooza kit number nine. Number nine. And you get these um, faux African Indonesian glass beads. You get these little beautiful little beads. What are these made out of? Snakeskin agate. jasper? Oh, agate. Agate's the one that you can kind of see through. Yeah, I guess you can. This one was hard to tell. Snakeskin agate. And those have good, nice holes, big holes. Yeah, they do. Pretty big holes. All right. So there you go. Suzanne says, I have that kit. Just lovely. Thank you. Suzanne likes the kits. We appreciate that. So our 52... <laughs> hour 52. We are in the second hour now. We are in the second hour of the... The buy them or we won't stop uh -huh. portion of our show. <laughs> I wonder if that would actually work. Is that going to work, everybody? I don't think it would because old time nobody had TV channels. They had like three TV channels. 
they had, had to watch they it. Had to watch it. <laughs> you wanted to watch TV. It was one of the only things on. It's like you know PBS. Marion says ninety five thousand dollars for a Taylor Swift ticket on Ticketmaster. Yeah, you know. Okay, so listen here, y'all. <laughs> People make fun of Swifties all day long about how. They, they're like, oh, the people like Taylor Swift, blah, blah, blah. You know what, though? They got the Justice apart Department involved in regulating Ticketmaster and their yeah. monopoly over... And Ticketmaster bought, what was it, one Live, Live Nation, Nation? And they had to be approved to do that. And they had to... Um, they were supposed to submit things about how they were upgrading. And, and I guess that never really happened. So now they're getting in trouble. Yeah, because it's called ticket scalping. And they tried so hard to blame Taylor Swift that she didn't tour enough. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, blame the woman and blame the artist. Of course. Because the company that has the monopoly literally <laughs> millions of dollars. can't handle the traffic. Uh -huh. It's all the artist's fault for not doing more tours. Uh-huh. Blame her. That her music's so popular. <laughs> oh, it's so popular. That made me crazy when I read that. That they, the pre, the president or whatever was saying it's really she should do more tours. She's just gonna make a write a song about it. <laughs> she did. She put it in her bio. Something. One of the one of the tracks from her song. The lyrics was something about okay, it's all my fault or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has that in her bio now. Yeah, there you go. Right. So this and here is she probably shouldn't have done an admission of guilt, but whatever. <laughs> Suzanne says that apple, right? This reminded me to flip this on the other side. This is a button on this side, and it's a little apple button on this side. And then we have AG Fine Pewter. We have some check glass here. Beautiful little yellow, orangey red combination. And this is Kitapalooza kit number 11. 11. Those are vintage, everybody. That's the thing with our kits. We have a lot of them left, but a, there's never a lot of any one of them because they are using vintage materials most of the time. Sometimes, most of the time, antique, actually. It's getting there. I know. I know. The longer we keep doing this. Kitapalooza kit number 8. I love this kit, and nobody likes it. We got a lot of these. Andrew made a lot because he loves it, and then nobody wants it. I was bewitched with them glowing in the dark B or the black light. Uranium. Oh, I thought you had a black light. I was like, ooh. Yeah. So these are uranium glass little buttons, and these beads here, they will glow under a black light. You get a little skull. I think this is an AG Fine Peter skull. Mm -hmm. You get this little skull with it in um, the antique gold. And then you get these little check glass beads. And they glow. These glow under a black light. So when you go to a Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> when you go to the Taylor Swift concert, wear your black light beads. Carry your black light with you. I don't think they'll glow at Taylor Swift concerts. Go to the club. Do they still have black lights in clubs? I haven't been to one in so long. Yeah, you get shot. <laughs> oh, there's that. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it out. He's like, yeah, because we get shot. Gonna... Sad news, everybody. Sad news. On that, On that happy note, let's look at another kit. Great. Mm -hmm. um, kit up lose a kit number 19. 19. Just separating I love this up. Kid. I do too. And there are, I think, two of these left. I can't believe it because these have such beautiful lapis beads. Usually, when we put lapis beads in a kit, it sells out good lapis. every time. This is good lapis. Is this Afghani lapis? Afghan lapis? I keep saying Afghani. And polymer right. clay beads by me. Polymer clay Who beads. Knows? And you're going to get that again. That look like lapis. Sometimes like Andrew. I, I work in seasons. And nobody knows what season it is. <laughs> nobody like. knows. Not even me. Suzanne says, you are showing all the kits I already have. 
What kids do you what what kids don't you have? <laughs> make a new one real fast. He's gonna go whip one up so bet you don't have this one. So you have the African glass, you have the PewDie spacers, you have the beautiful deep lapis beads, you have the lapis like polymer clay by Andrew, and you have the faux African Indonesian glass here. Marianne says, I have some of these too. Good, Thanks. thank you. We appreciate it. I don't know. Can we find one that y'all don't have? We should get a thing with like a notification. Where it's like, you paid our mortgage. <laughs> thank you. You bought our grocery. You help. Yeah, we're a small business, y'all. We're like super small. Like y'all do help us pay our mortgage and y'all do help us. You know, this is not like, we're not like saying this being like, just to be funny. Just to be funny. Um, next up. A little up, bit to be funny, but mostly. But it's true. super true. Um, this is Kitapalooza kit number 10. Do y'all have this one? Well, it's AGB fam, not AGB associate. <laughs> right. Y'all get it whether you like it or not, I guess. <laughs> the true true. The true true. So here's an AG fine Peter toggle. You get some check glass beads. You get some um, of this beautiful uh, tiger eye. In all different, this is all different tiger eye. Tiger eye, tiger eye. These are all little tiger eyes. Tiger eye, tiger eye, tiger eye. You get a facet of the tiger eye there, another one there. You get the little squares. Suzanne says, yep, got this one. <laughs> I tried to pick one that there were a lot left of, and there's a lot left of this one. I think there's a tag in here that says this is only $16. I think I made that with Suzanne in mind. She said she wanted Tiger Eye. You might have. So I think. I made a mix that was never released that's Tiger Eye. Mm, never released mix, everybody. Wanna see this. Everybody want to see a never released, possibly never to be released mix? It's not for sale. It's not for sale, he said. What are you going to do with it? I didn't make enough. Oh. Like one bag Thank you. I'll show that in a momentito. Thank you. So that was Kitapalooza kit number 10. Suzanne says, yes, I'm ready. Who's ready? Ter Teresa says, I have this kit because I love Tiger Eye. Suzanne says, I do like Tiger Eye. Look at this kit, everybody. Should I dump some out? In a bowl. Do I have a little bowl? Mm -hmm. Never have bowls. We fill up every bowl we ever get. We, we use the things we have. <laughs> I know, right? But we don't have things me. just laying around for show. We have many bowls around. Many, many bowls. Look at that luxury bead blend. That's super luxury bead Good blend. I love these bowls. By the way, we're supposed to sell these in the store. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep it. He's going to keep it. Look at that oh gold bowl. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. Oh my God. All the little ones at the bottom. That's a mix. Look at that mix of Tiger Eye. It's bewitching. Suzanne loves it, loves it, loves it. So Andrew's not going to sell this, apparently. Maybe. He says maybe. There's probably enough for like three luxury bead blends they probably be like thirty dollars each no. maybe you don't know you can just hand it to me okay this is you're gonna make a mess correct that's spectral five uh-huh i'm used it's to it y'all i'm used to it all y'all uh, poor william poor, poor william See what I have to deal with, everybody? Normally I'm very loving and supportive. What happened today? I don't know. No cupcakes still. No cupcakes still. I read a, listened to a book on tape. They talked about cupcakes days ago. Let me tell you, people. Let me tell you. When I do bring cupcakes home, he's like, Ugh, why would you get those? Um, you don't have to buy 20 of them. Sometimes I just get six. One. I buy six. You can't buy just one. Not at this. Buy a two pack. One for me, one for me. You two. can't at our supermarket. Six or more. Mm. And then he's like, why did you buy those? You got one. And you now. Literally 
the family size pack. I was hungry for cupcakes, y'all. And I was on Don't judge diet. me. Don't judge me. I had to go take a picture. <laughs> And then my face was all round and broke out. <laughs> See? And then he asked me for cupcakes now. Well. So this, y'all, look at this kit. Isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? You get this check glass. You get this vintage uh, plastic. You get this handmade lampwork bead. You get, you get these palm beads again. We have these. We have these, um, uh, what you going to call it? African glass. And then what is this again, Andrew? This is a rolled up thing, right? These ones? Uh, that's, um, they roll up bamboo. this, they roll up the bamboo and cut it. Yeah. It's with resin. Bamboo and resin. From the Philippines they make that. So there we have that. That is Kitapalooza kit number six. So did you hear that like World War III may be starting in the Philippines? No. In the place where my family is, Palawan. Okay. Great. Nice. Why is that starting there? Um, well, my friend Kamala Harris is going there for peace talks because all these different people are starting to claim it. Oh. It is a tropical paradise right now. So what will happen after? People don't need to be claiming other people's places. It's, Unless you ask to be claimed by somebody, just leave the world the way it is. It's all right. Suzanne says, now I want cupcakes. Yeah. Andrew says, so do I. Welcome to the club, Suzanne. Uh -huh. Cupcakeless club. <laughs> Cupcakeless club. What is this? The, prime, the, prime cupcake. the bag that never opens. That's why I didn't sell. You <laughs> couldn't get out of, that, out of the bag. No, well, I'm listening to a book on this. It's called um, something kind of magic, and it's Crystal Esther Pastery. I. It's a free one on Audible. Marion says, "I can't judge when I've been there and done that, especially with croissant donuts." Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. Diane says, "Now I want those big fancy cupcakes from the cupcake truck at Fort Days. Those look good." Cynthia said they had food coloring. Oh, so she breaks out. She couldn't eat it. Um, Suzanne says, we just had cupcakes from Costco. Those are surprisingly good. Suzanne had cupcakes then. She wants cupcakes again. Nothing wrong with that. I, I'm, I sometimes, I don't usually eat a lot of chocolate because it makes me break out. But I was deeply in the mood for a chocolate one. But I think maybe like a vanilla, the buttercream, vanilla buttercream. There used to be this place called the Kumqua in New York, and they made these tiny little, like, fairy size. I was going to say child size. But <laughs> Not they, even. They were, like, this big. He's si showing the size of about a half dollar, y'all. And they were tiny, but they were dang delicious. Oh, my gosh. So flavorful and packed in one bite. It's like a mousse bouche cupcake. Um, Cindy said those cupcakes did look good, but it'd kill me with the food coloring. Yeah, your throat would instantly swell mm -hmm. up. This is Kitapalooza kit number five, I believe. Look at how beautiful these are. I love this green and pink combo. What if we got a yurt? No, thank you. We could be like those people on Instagram. Those people on Instagram yurt. got the hard life. No, they don't. They, you know, they don't like actually. Maybe they do. <laughs> if we did it, we would. So let's Our not. Budget, you're, especially in They're doing everyone. it because they have a nice big house to live in. Andrew wants to move us into a yurt. Well, then we could sell the house and then um, have. Where are you moving us? That it's not going to be cold in this yurt. Um, we'll be here, You're obviously. You're going to cut down the trees to burn in the yurt? No, it would be <laughs> so cute. I still, he still doesn't say how we're staying warm, everybody. Our love. <laughs> Our love will keep us warm. La listen how he laughs with the mocking. <laughs> we'll shiver together. I love you, but I don't think our love is going to keep us warm enough in the negative degree weather in the winter. Well, no. Oh, well. Maybe Gilbert. 
Gilbert keep us warm. We're going to become pops popsicle. Gilbert pop. We're going to be frozen solid with the cats. Let's Except not do games. that. Thanks, Dad. See what happened? You don't buy enough kits, everybody? We close the store, move to a yurt, and freeze solid with the cats. And then uh, popsicle. Marion says, two people and two cats in a yurt? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be cozy. Carla says, weird, I just turned to the back of my new Mother Earth. Magazine. Oh, magazine. Are you going to come for that? There's a festival. Mother Earth News. Suzanne says, come to New Orleans. That's more expensive. That's even more expensive. That's more expensive. And Georgia would cut my face if I try to start a store. Oh, the Mother Earth News, and there's an ad for a yurt. <laughs> They do a festival here. Did you know, Carla? It's at Seven Springs. I don't know if they still do it. Usually it's on my birthday in September. So here we have Chuck Glass. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, I don't, kit number 16. Kitapalooza kit number 16, I believe. Maybe Georgia will give me a job. Diane says, I feel like yurts are only warm, for, or only for warm climates. There is an Airbnb here that you can stay in a yurt. Love the color scheme of this one, says Susan. <laughs> Marianne says, actually, yurts are quite warm. That's why they have them in, like, the Himalayas and stuff. Susan says, you could come here. Abby would cut my face. <laughs> have to do something else, right? No. So here we have these butterflies. You've seen these in some of the other kits. And St. Louis is expensive, too. Now we have a black onyx butterfly. There is a really cute town called St. Charles and the houses are like these mansions from like Victorian times. I was like, how did all these people have money? Do you ever go to those random places and there's like a mansion out in the middle of nowhere? And then you're like, uh, how, how did this come to be? Depends where you are, right? Yeah. Check glass. Fiber optic beads. Trying to get through this, everybody, before Andrew brings up another topic. <laughs> um, Mansions in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's like some of them were timber barons. Could be I, timber, could be oil, could be cotton fields. That's like... Could um, be, depends on where you are in the country. Like oil city up here. North, yeah, I was just going to say that. Like Titusville is like oil. Mm -hmm. Who knew oil came from Pennsylvania? Used to. Why not move to Asheville near Cynthia? It's even more expensive. We're getting even more. We looked. When we were, okay, so. Tell them, Andrew. Let's go off script, y'all. Let's go, Andrew. We're going off script. Tell them. So when we were deciding on buying, okay, so we started this store and we had, uh, we, you know, we were living in the apartment and we were thinking about moving. Um, and we didn't want to move, but I kind of wanted to be close to our family because we had been close to uh, William's family. So I kind of wanted to be close to our family. So we just looked out of curiosity. And I think we may have went down on a trip and it was like a really fun trip and it would have been really nice to be near them. And so we looked in our price range and I guess our price range at that time was like a hundred thousand because we definitely didn't have any money. Um, and so we looked and basically nothing came up except for a burnt out trailer in Fletcher. Is it Fletcher or Arden? Well, there was that one that had um, walls, concrete walls. Oh, it was cute. That was down by the school, right? Where we school? picked up the kids before. Wasn't it close oh, to that? Oh, Swananoa? Is that where it was? Or was it down by Cherry Tree? That's where Cherry Tree is in Swananoa. No, it was farther. It was because uh, we drove by it. No, it it was. We uh, drove by one, and it had a sign for sale, and we looked at it, and it was concrete brick walls, concrete blocks, no roof. It was about the size of like a bedroom. Oh, and there was no bathroom. There was no bathroom. No, there was no. It was just walls. You're not allowed to live in it either. It was, so. and it was on a block of land that was overgrown. And it was like in between two, or it was like in the V of a row. Yeah. So I'm guessing down maybe, it coming down a hill. I I'm guessing it used to be like a maybe a gas station at one point, or a mechanic, or something like that. And the plot of land was over our budget. 
Yeah, that was not good. That was crazy. So this is a cute kit, right, everybody? So we're not moving. Now. Check glass, check glass, check glass, handmade lamp work glass. The goal is not to feel more poor. I know. That's we, like somebody was like, why don't you move to Hawaii? I was like, did you, did I win the lotto? Did you not tell me? Are you supporting us now? And I was like, mm -hmm. I can't open a beat store. Are you supporting us? Because. Jamie pat me. Right. So this is um, if, if you like if you like these little uh, little ladybugs, this is Kitapalooza kit number fourteen. There was this really super cute house um, in North Carolina, but I looked it up and it was like where the headquarters of the K uh, KKK. Oh great! And so I was like, I don't think I don't think we'll fit in. <laughs> it was also a dry county. Oh, great. And it, not that we drink very much, but I was all like, I don't, I don't think we this, drank more back then. I don't think this is for us. I don't, I don't know. So this kit is the last one I have for you tonight. Kitapalooza kit number 15. Um, and it has check glass, Chinese ceramic, vintage Chinese ceramic. It has this allegory gallery um, butterfly in this acrylic. It has check glass check glass it has these pyramids with the eyes check glass and there you have it i think this is twelve dollars kid a kid number 15 only one of these available only one last one everybody this must have been fairly popular it's weird how we had the like we sell these sell it and there's always one left like how is there one left Sometimes we have samples we pull them aside. Yeah, but these aren't. Um, Carla said, oh, house trailers and cambers. My best friend found a terrific house in Penrose. Asheville's ridiculously overpriced like Charlotte. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. I had a friend who had a bead shop in Charlotte, and she had to close because um, they raised her in quadruple crazy and i'm now, like what see andrew talks about downsizing and living in these small places but he could not do it who, who said what what's happening you could not downsize what are you talking about how are you going to downsize we're too we much stuff downsizing? the house we can't even clean the house out we did downsize the house you, you need have... a shelf of jars like <laughs> how are you going to downsize that is okay that is okay We've got empty rooms now. <laughs> We've got Your empty office. rooms. My office, take away my one room that I've got. We don't need a guest room. My, we don't need a guest room. Sorry, Cynthia. No, she's going to have her own house. She's going to have her own house. If the house is $5,000, you can buy her a house. Oh, you Lord. Be like, it'll be like a sitcom. Oh, Lord. Carla says, was it Lydia at Beadlush? I love that shop. Um, I'm not going to say it's not like this <laughs> town. <but> <laughs> we did a trunk show there at that at that shop. And so I was fasting because uh, I thought it would be a good idea to have a fast when we. <laughs> so I should preface this. All right. So we went to this trade show. I can't remember. Maybe it was Tucson. Maybe it was Beat and Button. And at the time I was living with Cynthia in Asheville. Um, I was helping take care of Azalea when she was little baby time. And, Before I met him. And so, yeah, we were living like in her back room. But <laughs> no. So anyway, so Cynthia and I decided to do this thing called the master cleanse where you drink lemon juice, cayenne pepper, and uh, maple syrup. This is not good times, everybody. And so <laughs> I decided it would be a good idea to do this trunk show while i was doing this master plan so not only was i blacking out <laughs> while we were doing this but um then we decided to because it used to be so this is never again we used to be next to, i'm not gonna even tell the most horrible story <laughs> but we used to be so that store that carl was talking about used to be next to this thai restaurant and I, after three days, I look scary because my metabolism used to be quick. It's not anymore. <laughs> That's 20 years, y'all. 20 years ago. Almost. 
And so, um, so yeah. <laughs> that was nightmare time. I gorged myself on Thai food like I had never eaten before. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> they thought that I was I was Thai, and so they adjusted the spice level. <laughs> and I devoured this food, and only after I had finished Inhaled eating the food did I realize how hot it was. <laughs> And then I experienced that heat not once, but twice. Oh. I'm not going to tell you how. We all know. But we all know guess. how you experienced I'm not going to say it. the P word. <laughs> Since I've been forbidden to say the P word. The heat went in and the heat came out. Correct. And I <laughs> thought I was going to die. And Lydia saw me the next day and she was like, are you? Do, you, do I need to call somebody? <laughs> But anyways, fun times. That's funny. That's funny. Funny to look back upon. Explosive. Explosive heat. Fire. All right, everybody. It was good. It did taste good. It did taste good. For the first, when I could taste it, it tastes great. All right, everybody. Marianne says, ew. <laughs> you know I'm talking about Marianne. Everybody, it happens to everybody. Maybe some people more careful than I was. One time we had this New Year's Eve party at the store when we used to do programming. And <laughs> I made this thing of black eyed peas and I didn't think they were spicy, but apparently like where our taste buds are dead. <laughs> and our friend Mary, she ate some. That's hilarious. She, it looked like uh, somebody she had set off a firecracker she's, in her mouth. She's pale skinned already. And she turned bright red. <laughs> she started, you know. She spit it out. Spit it out. It was wiping her tongue off with a paper <laughs> towel. <laughs> and I was just laughing, it was laughing. Funny. It was funny. It was one of the New Year parties at the store, which maybe we'll never have a New Year party at the store again. Who knows? Well, maybe in Johnstown. Maybe in Johnstown. Amanda says, poor Andrew. Marianne says, very seldom eat spicy. Susan says, can you say the P word without saying the P word? <laughs> I don't know. I know. Spicy in, spicy out. Yeah, you go. <laughs> it's like Barnaby spice. spice. All right, everybody. We're going to go. We need to figure out what the we can afford for dinner flow. tonight. Um, the spice must flow. The spice must flow. And, <laughs> and then you we're like going to come back to... Whoever controls the spice controls the universe. <laughs> Andrew's getting wild. So we're going to go and we're going to go gonna eat go. something. Spice. Oh, Suzanne says, who won? Who oh. won the kit? See, um, Andrew starts talking about spices. Let me look. Good reminder. I know. They're like, we shared that. We didn't share that yeah. for nothing. <laughs> um, what else was I going to say? Um, maybe we'll do our live tonight from the studio. Maybe we'll set up the live on YouTube. And maybe we'll use a YouTube app since maybe we'll get more popular, more popular that way. I don't know if it matters, um, but we are going to maybe we're going to work on some enameling tonight. So when we're in the studio, if you're just tuning in or just tuned in recently, we were talking earlier about how there's these YouTube channels who um, they just put on like when they're studying, they put like a three hour study session and people on YouTube watch. And this one video has 11 million views after one year. So I'm like, maybe we'll set up the camera in the studio tonight while we're working. It won't be interaction, but if you are working on something tonight in your studio or your dining room table or your bead room, and you'd like to work with us, we'll have it up and we'll just kind of be there. And I, as I was saying, I in college always like to study around people or I had the TV on. Um, so I'd go to the library or the hub oftentimes and do work there. So if you're like me, and you'd like to just have people around you, even if you don't interact with them while you're working and creating things, we'll put up the studio. Maybe we'll put the live on tonight and just hang out on YouTube. It's going to be on YouTube only. Um, uh, YouTube.com slash Allegory Gallery. I don't know if I have a banner for that. Let me see if I do. There it is. YouTube.com slash Allegory Gallery. And if you'd like to hang out with us and make some stuff, we'll be making some stuff. Um, again, we might have the live chat up, but it's not going to be interactive. 
Um, we're not going to chat with you. We're just going to be there and working. And if you want to watch us work and see the studio and just hang out, you can do that. Don't judge my wardrobe, y'all. Yeah, don't judge the wardrobes because we're going to be in pajamas. I'm in nice clothes now, but I'm going to go home and change. We're going to be in the cold weather pajamas to stay warm I here. We dress like the homeless. We dress like the homeless, but at least we have clothes, thankfully. I stitched up my sleeve, though. He did stitch up his sleeve the other night. It looks terrible. But at least but it doesn't have a hole anymore. It, well, it's dripping <clears throat> into stuff. So the winner is Carla. The winner is Carla. Carla, are you still here? Just commented. So I'm guessing you're still here. Um, so you win a new kit. I don't know if you've ordered from us. If you have, send us your address if you haven't. I mean, yeah, if you haven't ordered recently, send us your address at info at allegorygallery.com. I will put that on here so you can write that down if you need to. I don't know if you've sent in a um, order recently. So we need to have your updated shipping address and we will ship you out one of these kits. That we're going to get a surprise. We're going to get a surprise. You're going to get a surprise. Maybe it'll be a new kit. Maybe it won't even be one of these that we showed. Who knows? I don't know what Andrew has planned. He's... We're going to send a kit from that we showed. Okay. <laughs> so it is going to be a kit that we showed. Sometimes when Andrew, when Andrew says it's a, it's a surprise, sometimes that means other things. So, Carla, if you're still here, just say yes. So we know you're definitely here. If not, we have to pick another name. What? No, no. I don't want to have to do the generator thing again. Well, hopefully you're still here, Carla, because if you haven't sent an order, we won't know where to ship it. And then it'll sit in my kit pile of no addresses. I have one of those. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a giveaway pile. Yeah, we had a somebody in Motocraft. Never sent their address. Yeah, I don't know who they are. I don't know who Motocraft is. I said, if you're somebody, your parent named you Motor. <laughs> Carla says, yes, I just told the hubs I couldn't come watch TV. Okay, so you're here, you win. Send us an email to info at allegorygallery.com with your shipping address and we'll send out your kit. You'll get one of these that we showed tonight um, as, a, as a gift, as a, as a bonus for sharing. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, we're gonna go. We're gonna go make some food. We're gonna go feed our cats probably at this time. And then we're gonna be in the studio on YouTube Allegory Gallery, youtube.com slash Allegory Gallery. And we're just going to have it up and running live tonight if you want to hang out with us in the studio. All right. Thank you so very much. Watch the ad all the way through. Marianne <laughs> says, Emily is Motocrafts. That's a hint. Oh. That's a hint. I still don't. That's... I don't know which Emily. But if you know Marianne, send us their name on email if you know their address because we have a kit for them that's been waiting a, a prize. I know I got to figure out that one too. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening and tune in on YouTube with us tonight. If you want to hang out in the studio while we make enameling stuff and just watch and hang out with us and make stuff yourself, maybe. All right. Bye everybody. That's fun.